world's worst podcast number 25 tonight you yeah. get the privilege nay nay the enlightening experience of being joined by only jared and i for about the first half an hour because brennan uh, brennan's doing some stuff and uh, kieran has to deal with some family stuff tonight so you are all subjected to our retardation and there's no one to stop us from using terrible words for the first half an hour or so so strap the fuck in because this shit's about to get horrible real quick how are you doing jared you having a good week oh i'm making it just as terrible as possible because my fucking phone isn't muted that's cool i like that i like the part where i could hear my own voice that's half the reason why i do this podcast is so i can listen we're retarded you guys enjoy us world's worst podcast technical issues are the name of the game (laughs) (laughs) it's kind of what we do but yeah you having having a good week jared yeah it's all right not too bad good weekend of doing dick all That's, that's a good weekend that sounds like a real good weekend i woke up today i watched like a movie ate lunch and then took a three hour nap <laughs> nice dude that sounds yeah. fucking that's gorgeous i uh i worked yesterday and today at like five in the morning till 10 in the morning and then i came home probably <laughs> had a nap and then i woke up and i went and got mr sub which is also your sub quite quite delicious i do have to say man and when it comes to like those like two chains of subs here in canada where you got subway and then mr sub I'm, <laughs> two I'm, chains I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm giving my I'm giving my vote to Mr. Sub for sure, dude. That's like a highly yeah, highly more enjoyable sandwich experience than Subway. Subway sugary fucking bread can go fuck itself, and they're terrible, terrible meat. They're rubbery chicken and shit that like squeaks in your teeth when you eat it. Like go fuck yourself, Subway. Who are you trying? To also, uh, they molest children, or at least yeah. they're, they're like one guy. Did. Yeah, that's right. Or at least they at least they at least promote people that molest children. And either way, I've I'm never heard about. I've never heard about a child molester working at Mr. Subs. So. No, nope, no, nope. I've never seen one of their commercials where anybody fucked any children. So, like, I'm definitely nope. more down with those sandwiches than I'm down with the sandwiches that try to have sex with with children. <laughs> There's sure. nobody there. We just want to give your children AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> AIDS for everyone. <laughs> and like that shows, like that was they so fucking good. knew. So park new. They, they, absolutely... they were ahead of the curve. Yeah, they saw that shit yeah. coming before anybody else did. They're like, we know who the pedophiles are. <laughs> <laughs> South Park of the Simpsons. They just know shit. Yeah, somehow they just predict shit. Yeah, the Simpsons are really good at that. Apparently, I've seen Simpsons like all kinds really of those, like crazy it. pictures like that. Have you seen that like little special thing South Park released about the diaper chins? Hello, madam. Or chin diapers? No, what's that one? Oh, well, it's like a delivery guy. Like, oh, you need to put your chin diaper on, and then like <laughs> fucking fucking uh, what's Stan's dad's name? Uh, Randy. Randy, yeah, Randy Marsh is like, oh, sorry, he puts on his mask, but it's only, like, here. And the guy's like, oh, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I haven't, like, fucking, um, I haven't watched the uh, the quarantine special yet. I gotta fucking watch that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah they call them chin diapers, because like, everybody chin just diapers. wears them down here. <laughs> oh, my face. Dude, it's so true, too. Like, the amount of times I've gone into public and, like, people have the mask like this. You know what I mean? And yeah. I'm like, what are you doing, yeah, man? Yeah, either their nose is sticking out, or it's just, like, on their chin. Yeah, like, what the fuck is wrong with you? This thing, like, you just love to defeat your own purpose before you can even try to be a good person. Is that what it is? You know what I mean? Or is it that you just yeah. like to, like, be able to go home and be like, I had my mask on. I'm one of the good ones. I did it today. Dude, I was at the grocery store. Oh, People are Friday? retarded. Maybe it was yesterday. I don't even remember, dude. I was at the grocery store one of the last two days. <laughs> yeah, one of those That's, days I was it, there. They have, you know, all the stores now. Go this way only so you're not crossing over with people. Blah, yeah, blah, I don't, blah, I don't right? follow that fascist like, regime. I go wherever I want down the chip aisle. You can suck my dick. I forgot my Doritos. I'm going back for them. I'm not making a circle like a chump. <laughs> this lady, like, spins the corner really fast. She's like, oh, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> and she's, like, <laughs> laughing. Wearing her mask on her chin. I'm like, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just, like, stared at her. I'm like, you fucking... You stupid fuck. My favorite thing is when it's like old people coming into the 7-Eleven when I'm in there like buying taquitos or something and they just have no mask on at all. And then they're like looking at everybody all rude and shit. I'm like, you understand that you're the one that's going to die from this shit, right? Like statistically, I'm going to be fine. Like if I walk around without a mask on and catch the shit, we're doing this for you, asshole, you fucking piece of shit. It's not to protect people our age. Like we're going to be fine, you dumb fuck. This is for your retarded ass. There was this family at the grocery store, and I felt bad for their kids because it was like a mom and a dad. I don't know. They were some sort of Eastern European descent. They were definitely like Polish or Serbian or something. You could just tell. Sunken eyes, fair skin. (laughs) 
But there was like the, the mom and dad and the three young daughters, and none of them are wearing masks, and everybody's just staring at them. <laughs> like, shame. those kids don't have a choice. They can't, be like, they can't be like, Papa, we need masks. Papa, Papa, you, you Papa please, please, Papa, let yeah. us put a mask on. We're afraid of the virus. Please, Papa, yeah. save us. No, no, children, you shall be subjugated to it, to its cardiovascular whims. This is your problem now. Poor children just coughing up a storm, eating soup. Poor little bastards. <laughs> you see, you see Lara's comment. I make, I make little comments sometimes when someone goes <laughs> down. Go, like what kind of comments? Oh, well, like you just like it's whisper like, under oh, your breath. You're like fucking goddamn bastards. She's like, saying, oh, like, must have got my arrow, bro. <laughs> 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 They're like condescending play of like power play. Oh no, that's fine. You're I understand. You just clearly didn't notice that the arrows are pointing in this direction. It's not your fault. That's fine. No, you just didn't see it. You're an idiot. That's cool. I'm just gonna go about my business now. I have fucking Cheetos to buy. Adios. That's the that's the way to live your life, Lara. Passive to do it. passively aggressively. Lara doesn't fine. strike me as the individual to eat Cheetos. That was probably a bad example. <laughs> Lara strikes me as like a hickory stick individual for sure. Dude, I was literally going to say she's a hickory stick individual because yeah. I went to the dollar store last week and I was telling her all the junk food I bought and I was like, I got hickory sticks. And she's like, bro, I haven't had hickory sticks in like forever. No, so the next time I went, I bought her a bag. And she's like, bro, I haven't had hickory sticks in forever. And I'm like, yeah, I know. You told me this like five days ago. I got you so I bought them. Yeah, I paid attention. <laughs> I love that kind of shit. Dude, I'm so good that's at, like, so, pinning people. It's so that's funny. so funny that you're like, she's a hickory stick person. I was about to say, because yeah. you're like, I don't think she's a cheapest person. I was going to say she's a hickory stick person. Yeah. No, just because that story. I can fucking, that's I, can, funny. I can pin people like a motherfucker. I was at work the other day, and there's this dude there who has, like, he has, like, these reflective safety glasses that he wears, so he looks like he's out of, like, Cyberpunk 2077. You know what I mean? And then he has, like, this, like, permed hairdo that looks like a bad oh, excuse of, like, John Bon Jovi. You know what I mean? So obviously I call him John Bon Jovi all the time. And then we were like at the back of the factory grabbing skids or something like that or grabbing wood for the skids, something, whatever, we're getting something. And um, he came bombing through on his tow motor and he was getting all pissed because he had to sit there and wait for a second. You know what I mean? So he's like, as we're going past, like, why don't you go get your own shit, blah, blah, blah. And he's just being a prick, right? So like, I was like, all right, fuel to the fire. Now I get to make fun of this guy and not feel bad about it. This is fucking perfect. So we're like going back afterwards and I'm like, man, John Bon Jovi needs to calm his shit down out there. I guess something must have been going wrong with this fucking transamorous Firebird that he probably drives, you know what I mean? And then Buddy looks at me, he's like, did you know that he actually drives a Firebird? And I'm like, I fucking knew it! I knew it! Yes. He is the exact type of individual to drive a fucking Firebird, you know what I mean? Like, Does he have the one with, like, the bird on the hood yes, and everything? Yes, that's what I said. I'm like, uh. is it the one with the bird decal on the fucking hood, too? He's like, yeah, but the bird is fucking immaculate. You have no idea how much effort he's put into, like, pristining this bird. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah, no, I do have an idea. I was like, this is exactly what I envisioned in my head. Like, John Bon Jovi's permed hair, like, flopping in the wind while he drives off in his fucking in his uh in his firebird or whatever the fuck it is you know what i mean to go and solve mysteries like magnum pi fucking loser <laughs> but yeah no i was like i'm pretty good at like pinning people i'm pretty pretty good at pinning people for sure they're gone now <laughs> or in yeah, the I, I devoured the hickory put, sticks <laughs> i love when people put so much effort into like hi, mom mr comment a piece, of, but hi. a piece of shit car like in pristine condition it's like you wasted so much effort on a piece of shit. Like, why are you restoring this stupid piece of garbage? You know what I mean? Dude, like, when you when you see like a Sunfire drive by, and it's got a body kit that's worth more than the Sunfire's. Right literally, like, what are you doing? Like, what were you thinking? You know what I mean? This guy comes through my drive through like every day, and he's put like hella money into this orange Sunfire. Like, I don't get like, it. Why would you? I don't know. I guess I don't know. I guess it's like it's hard to judge because it's like if you just have like spendable income, you know what I mean, and it's just like a fun thing to you, then like power to you. But if you've only got, like, you know what I mean, a little bit of money to have, like, one kind of toy kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? And you, like, choose that toy to be, like, a sunbird or a fucking, or, like, a sunfire or a firebird or something like that, you know what I mean? Like, why, bro? What the fuck is misfiring in your head that you thought that was cool and a good idea? Like, yeah. I don't get it, dude. I don't understand it at all. Wouldn't it be better to, like, take that, like, 20 grand that you, like, sank into that complete piece of shit from 1986 that nobody ever thought was cool? And, like, buy something modern and cool and sporty. I don't know. Doesn't make a lot of sense to me, dude.
doesn't make a lot of sense. A lot of things don't make a lot of sense to me, though, Jared. So, and I'm probably a bad because example. Because any, anything from the last decade reminds them of how shit their life has been for at least the last decade. Yeah, that's true. When they sit back so and they have fucking... to keep their car with their cassette deck, yeah, or else yeah, they'll yeah. be reminded that they're failures. No, it's true. When you get when you sit in that Trans Am and you get to blast fucking Def Leppard and your perm is flying in the wind and your reflective sunglasses are sitting there. Yeah, you're like, yeah. You're like, oh yeah, dude. It was sweet being 18. It was real good when I played football that was a lot of fun and you drive around and then and then you park in your driveway and the reality of the fact that your wife divorced you and your children hate you hits you and you're like fuck there's not enough perm every day you get a little closer to attaching that fucking tube to the end of your pipe and running it in just jamming that fucking that trans am into a fucking wall at 80 miles an hour and just calling it a goddamn day you know what i mean and then oh what a beautiful beautiful death you know what i mean I, it's a good question too if perms are flammable or not or if like you would just like incinerate and nothing left of you oh, dude, there's for the so reflection. much hairspray yeah that's a lot of product going on in there that's probably true i don't think it would last long i just like the envisionment of nothing being left except the frame of the car and then a perm and a, like those reflective glasses you know what i mean and, like, <laughs> yeah and just a bunch of bone i guess because that'll probably be okay there too but yeah, no, <laughs> fuck that. I don't understand this shit, dude. Don't get it. Don't understand it at all. Uh, that's funny. Not my thing. Have you any? Have you had any interesting public run-ins lately? Public run-ins? No, we had like an interesting day at work though on Monday. That was. Uh, oh yeah. It was pretty eventful. We had like this. I don't even. I don't even know. So like, there's always like. You know, oh, the new like, hire guy. Yeah, yeah. So there's oh, like, okay. this, it's this. like a factory type of job, right? So there's always people in and out kind of deal. You know what I mean? Is this at the cheese place? No, or is this no, at the no. Metal place? The, the, the metal place. Yeah. So. Uh, Are you still at the cheese place? Yeah, on and off. It's just very slow as of late. So I'm like more or less just working at the That's one place now. But Word. Um, yeah, still kind of on and on and off as it were sort of deal. You know what I mean? But. Um, yeah, so at the at the the factory there, we you know they always have like people starting and leaving and like they come in for a couple of days and then they just never come back kind of thing and shit like that. And then Stratford. Uh, yeah, literally. So we had this dude come in on Monday and um, like. What are you looking to get out of this job? Like like four days worth of money. Yeah, something like that. I don't know what what does an eighth of meth cost? I would like that. That that's pr- that's pretty much what I'm going for here. It's like all right. Well, that's not all right. Well, I guess whatever. We'll hire you for now. I guess and we'll see how it goes. Maybe you'll overcome your addictions and become a good person. Spoiler alert: He doesn't. But uh, yeah, so he came in on Monday and uh, showed up at the beginning of the shift, all like just super tweaked out and just weird as shit. You know what I mean? Like just like super like in your face about everything when you're like ask like asking questions about the dumbest shit. You know what I mean? Like just weird as fuck and um i was like ah this guy is definitely on some fucking drugs for sure there's no way that a normal human would act like this and then yeah he's like goes through the day and shit and he's like oh i'm just gonna go fucking go take a piss real quick and he like goes to go to the bathroom and shit like that disappears the bathroom for like 45 minutes we just thought he left so we were like all right i guess he's not coming back lo and behold he shows back up and shit and just like wanders back onto the floor and shit so he's back again and we're like all right so he didn't just completely disappear good job so he comes back and he does more of his like tweaking work as it were, you know what I mean? Like standing around being a fucking weirdo smelling like feet and shit. And then uh, lunchtime <laughs> comes around. And uh, so he's like, ah, I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go take a cab to Seven Eleven, get some lunch. Cause I didn't bring any lunch. You know what I mean? And, and uh, need some food. Oh, a food. Stratford cab. You should be like, dude, our lunch is in four hours. You don't have time for a Stratford cab. Yeah. No shit. That's literally <laughs> what I was laughing about. I was like, he thinks he's going to make it to Seven Eleven and back in 20 minutes. Like, all right, well, we'll see how it goes. Let's see what happens. Lo and behold, the 20 minutes comes and goes. We all go back to work, and the fucking miraculous meth head hasn't shown back up for work. He's just not returned. So we're like, all right, he's not coming back. There's no way, right? Literally, like, 20 minutes after that, he comes wandering through the bay door, and he's like, yeah, I'm back for work. Let's do it, boys. We're like, yo, fucking uh, break ended, like, 25 minutes ago, bro. Like, where did you... What happened, man? And he's like, oh, cabs, you know, cabs. <laughs> Just goes back to work like nothing happened. We're like, all right, cabs. <laughs> you know how they are. It is, <laughs> it is what it is, you know? And so he works for another 10 minutes, and he's like, oh, I got to go to the bathroom again. And we're like, oh, well, <laughs> yeah, I know how this fucking game goes. Fool me once. Shame on me. You know, <laughs> or whatever that saying is. But whatever, you know, we're like, all right, go to the bathroom. So we're just like fully expecting him to not. Not like he's actually fucking contributing. So no, sure, exactly. Go to Even for like twenty minutes while he is working, he's not doing shit. So he goes to the just bathroom. 
he goes and disappears in the bathroom for like another 50 minutes or something like that and then the like the the foreman guy comes up and he's like yo where's that new guy that was working with you and she, and uh, the chick that was working with him is like i don't fucking know he just he's gone like he didn't come back i don't know where he is and then like he said he was going to the bathroom so that was the last time we heard from him and he's like all right i'll go find him and supervisor goes up to the bathroom and he comes back and he's like yeah so we opened the door in the bathroom and it turned out that he was like sitting on the floor of the bathroom like crisscross applesauce with his legs crossed with no pants on just smoking meth <laughs> out of like a little piece of tin foil so he's just sitting there like like just like you know what I mean? like indian style or whatever just fucking just puffing up on his meth with no pants on just having a good old time and then yeah, the supervisor comes in and like sees him sitting there crisscross like, applesauce. Is completely like nothing on his bottom, or is he like no, wearing he, like he, his he, fucking he, tidy? Yeah, wedding? yeah, he had boxers on apparently. He had boxers on, but he took the pants off completely. Dude, smoking meth is way better when you can wear pants. <laughs> That's what I said. I was like, hey man, like why are we judging this guy? Like if you're gonna do hard drugs at work and throw your life away, you may as well be comfortable while you do it. You know what I mean? Like there's no do point all wearing the way. restrictive all machines. The way. Just send it. Yeah. So yeah, he's just sitting in there fucking cross legged, smoking meth in the floor of the bathroom. And like the supervisor's like, what the fuck do I do with this? You know what I mean? Like, how the fuck do I handle this situation? Because <laughs> like, the guy doesn't give a fuck. No, and like, yeah, like you know what I mean? That's not in anybody's like handbook when they become like a like a lead hand or a supervisor. <laughs> where they're like, here's how you handle eight, the naked man smoking methods. meth. Section twelve, sitting crisscross <laughs> apple sauce. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. All right, all right. Section five <laughs> methods. Section five C, crisscross pantsless applesauce methods. All right, this is how I handle that. It's like, no, there's no, there's no guidebook on this shit. So. Grab your rifle, just put them down. <laughs> put them down. Let's call it a day. So you know what they did? They got all the supervisors and all the managers to like stand outside of each of the doors of the bathroom until they came out, and then they <laughs> took them off the property and called the cops. Like they just took hey, them. Oh, what's up, Chappie? And they just like took him in the took him off the property and like let him go on the street like a dog and then called the police and we're like yeah there's a drug like a meth addicted dude walking down alone avenue if you want to come get him it's all yours <laughs> so they just like released him into the wilderness and then called animal control on him you know what i mean i'm like what kind of fucking sick twisted game is this they're like no no just go home you're fine everything's gonna be okay and he's like oh thank god i really dodged a bullet on that one all i did was lose the job i had for five hours that's not a big deal i thought i was gonna get arrested he's walking out the street like this today's not bad that he's like, yeah, whoop, whoop. Oh god damn it This just turned from a 7 to a 4 Real fucking quick Oh they fucking got me <laughs> Got me how did they know <laughs> It could have been any other Pantsless high on meth man Walking down the street I mean I really get that at any given point There's at least two of them Mm-hmm. Oh, for At sure, yeah. Point. Yeah, especially if you wander <laughs> around at the right time. I literally went out of my house, like, two days ago to go to work or something like that. It was, like, four in the morning or something, you know what I mean? Like, for that five so that's start. before they all, like, wander inside. Yeah, no, yeah, it's, it's while they're wandering to the inside, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's yeah. fucking bad time. So I, like, go out of my house and I see some dude walking around with no jacket and, like, you know, minus two degree weather and no shoes on. And he's just rambling to himself, and I, like, open the front door to my house and, like, see him walking past while he's rambling. I just close the door. I'm like, you know what? I got ten minutes. I can wait. I can wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I just, like, literally went back upstairs and, like, smoked another bowl. And I was like, all right, I'll go to work now. It's probably okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you handle it. You know what I mean? Everybody's got to live in a bad like, you know what? This is a sign. I need to just take a minute for myself. Yeah, this is exactly it. God doesn't want smoke. me to be at work on time today. He's you know what? A bunch I of can crackheads. eat that banana. I do have time to eat that I banana. need that potassium. You are right. I absolutely do need that. I got to get that in my life. I don't want a Charlie horse halfway through the you, day. Do you want potassium or do you want to get stabbed? Or do you want to get stabbed? Yeah, exactly. Do you like having the $45 in your wallet? Huh? It's up to you. Like, uh, I'm going to eat the banana. I don't know. I really do like having that $45. It's pretty sweet. I've had $45 on my wallet for like the last like week and a half. Dude, anytime I get cash in my wallet, I'll forget. And then like two weeks later, I'm yeah. like, whoa, I have like money. Mm. It's like, pretty I thought sweet. I, was poor. 
I think I, I might have like fucking dinner tonight. Yeah, Sweet. man. I think I might have found like a hack for saving money, and the trick is to like take the money out of the bank and just like have it in cash because I never have cash and never remember that yeah, I have. Hundred percent, that works for me. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. So if I just like took that cash every, out, like, put it in an envelope, every winter when I like bust out my winter coat from the year before, I'll find like ten bucks. Dude, like, every single time. Yeah, I'll like open. That was so funny. I started wearing my leather jacket again because it's been cold the last few days, and I like whipped it out and I opened it up, and there was a pack of smokes and twenty dollars, and I'm like, nice job nice job <laughs> drunk martin that's fucking awesome you're fucking you're, you're out of the curve sometimes dude dude sometimes you're drunk martin is like, the game, boy. sometimes drunk martin is like impressively ahead of the curve on sober martin you know what i mean because he knows like what sober martin's gonna have to go through the next day and he's like don't worry bro i'm capable right now and i'll set this up for you you know what i mean and he like gets you're all like, like wake up late and you're like oh fuck yeah uh, you, you have to take a cab you're like oh our debit machine's broken you gotta pay cash you're like fuck i don't have cash you're like I do have cash. I do have cash. What the fuck happened? And smokes. I like Whoa, wake I up in the morning and I'm like, like, like having to like make lunch or whatever. You know what I mean? I'm like, I don't have time to make lunch. I just got to leave. I'm too hungover to do this. And then I open the fridge and there's my lunch bag in there with like a sandwich and shit all made. I'm like, nice job, Martin. Nice job. <laughs> Unless I have like a secret girlfriend that I've been dating that I don't know about. Is it just macaroni comes loaves oven. fucking sandwich? Every time it is. It's literally in the bread. Instead of being bread, it's macaroni loaf cut really thick. <laughs> <laughs> the stand in the middle and and in in the middle it, it's like macaroni loaf for bread with macaroni loaf in the middle with american cheese and chelsea it's got it's got yellow mustard on it and then that's what keeps it going you know what's what wrong I mean? with yellow mustard who the yeah. fuck doesn't like yellow that's mustard? what i said that's what i said chelsea hates yellow mustard and um she's a chelsea's fool. fucking retarded yeah, she's a fool. Yeah, she's a foolish 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 woman how do you not like yellow mustard? It's so fucking supreme. It's all vinegary and mustardy and delicious. What else do you put on a hot dog? Thank ketchup? you. Well, well you do put ketchup on it. Let's not shit on ketchup. Like, come on. Yeah, but like, you, Get if, a... if you only have ketchup on it, that's like eating a sweet hot dog. That's just weird. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. See? You're crazy. You're nuts. Like I said, mustard is gross. Mustard You're is fun. gross. What is this? Is this like a lady's opinion? Is that what this is going on? Ladies don't like mustard? Let's find out. Chappie, what do you think yeah, about Chappie, mustard? Yeah, Chappie, what do you think about <laughs> mustard? I know you're out there. You, you fucking let us know, man, because this is ridiculous. Mustard is great, especially just normal plain yellow mustard. Sissy loves mustard. Right? All right, so there's another one for the male category. This doesn't make a lot of sense. Maybe I don't even I don't know if my mom's still out there or not. Mom, what do you think about mustard? Is mustard good if you're still out there? We need to know these things. This is crucial information that's like a pinnacle. You know what I don't fuck with, like of any kind? Honey mustard. I just don't like it. You don't like honey mustard? No, you don't fuck with it? Everybody shit? always tells me, you haven't had the right one. I'm like, I've had like 10 of them and I don't like any of them. That's, so I don't know if I don't, there I don't, is a I've right. heard that before and I don't understand that argument because they're all pretty much the fucking same to me. Like every time, every honey mustard I've ever had all kind of tastes just the same. It's like sweet mustard. You know what I mean? Like it's like the same I know shit. That. Like, I know some of them are like smoky honey mustard. So there's a smoky taste. But that's like an them. abomination too in the exact same way that they have like smoked sea salt. You know what I mean? I'm like, that's not salt at this point. Now it's like another thing. Salt Lara is supposed says to taste like salt. Loves mustard. Your mom loves mustard. All right, nice. Okay, so this isn't a male versus female divide. Well, how many do you get dropped out your head or something? Yeah. Do you do you have some kind of an accident when you were a child that forced you to not like mustard? Did mustard rape your father or something like that? Mustard <laughs> is a good time, dude. Yellow mustard is good. All right. See, there we go. Okay, so there. All right. Thank you. Thank you. So it's it's not Whoa. a divide between the genders as we originally thought we don't need to have a battle of the sexes as it were nobody needs to pick up spears coated in yellow mustard and stab each other with them everything's going to be fine but <laughs> yellow <laughs> yellow mustard is superior likely <laughs> if any form of mustard this, this is what to, there's nobody here to stop us from doing insensitive things yeah this is the conversations we have if any form of mustard was to be a raping form of mustard, it's definitely Dijon mustard. That's the rapiest of all mustard for sure. It's so aggressive. It doesn't even like yeah. taste like mustard. It just is its own thing. Or a mustard yeah. with seeds. That's an aggressive yeah. mustard. That's it an aggressive, aggressive mustard. mustard. Unless you're making like a vinaigrette or something like that. That's like the only place that that has a purpose. I love that video of Gordon Ramsay making his steak sandwich. He's like, you can't have a steak sandwich without mustard mayonnaise i was like i've never had mustard mayonnaise in my life what i the can't fuck? that's like weird. i've had mustard and mayonnaise but like a combination like what is, what does he mean by that though like if somebody's gonna come to my house he with takes a gun? like whole grain mustard 
And then he mixes it with mayo, and he's like, mustard mayonnaise. I'm like, okay. Gordon Ramsay makes a lot of questionable culinary decisions to me that I just feel like it's maybe because I have an unevolved palate, as it were. You know what I mean? Where I like like plum sauce with chicken fingers. That's that's real good. And Dude, like, I had fucking chicken nuggets with plum sauce for lunch today. Chicken nuggies! <laughs> hey, that's a good time, dude. You can't go wrong. I took a three-hour nap because I ate, like, 20 nuggets. And I also, <laughs> I I also so had many nuggets. Fire, I mean, I made a half a bag of french fries. <laughs> nice. That sounds like a good time. <laughs> My plate was just a glowing pile of gold. Just a glowing, oh. delicious nuggy pile. All yeah, right, Jared, take, o- like- take over the show for a second. I have to go to the bathroom. Uh-oh. I'm being left to my, my own devices. You're all in for it now. What should we do, guys? I was left all by myself. Brennan should be back here, hopefully, in 20 minutes or so. He had to do a photo shoot because he's too cool for us. Let's just sing, you guys. What song should I sing before Martin comes back? No, don't leave. This is when everybody joins the podcast because I'm the greatest host of all time. Uh. I hear sounds. I hear sounds. Anybody else drinking with us tonight? I'm enjoying Twisted Teas. Does anybody else have some lovely beverages? Uh, you're welcome. I don't. I don't know the lyrics to WAP. You tell me. You're a WAP. You should know what the lyrics are. Sing WAP. <laughs> Did you do it? No. Oh, I thought I missed something gold there. I was like, I will fucking go back oh, in the podcast. And Brennan's back. Oh, Brennan's in? Well, he posted oh, on in a second. Perfect, perfect. So I can get rid of the coming soon and replace it with actually Brendan. With a, with a picture of a penis coming now. Coming now on your face. <laughs> After it fucked a rotisserie chicken. <laughs> oh, that was terrible. That was terrible. You know, I wanted to ask, too, before everybody else showed up, but now Brennan's coming, so it's too late, but we'll do it now anyways. Um, I was watching Dragon Ball Z for the last, like, week or so when I was been going to bed and shit. If, oh, you, nice. if you had to pick one of the, like, sagas or whatever, and you could only watch that saga, what one would you pick? Frieza. Yeah? Yeah. Frieza's pretty good. I don't know, man. I like Android and, and Cell, though, real good. Yeah. That's some fucking good storytelling. You know what I mean? Like, it, I like, like Future Trunks a lot. Yeah, Future Trunks is bad. I just like the way it builds up with the androids and shit like that. You know what I mean? And then there's like the sneaky, like mysterious cell character thing going on in the background and shit. Yeah. I, like, um, I really like that. It's I like cool. the whole mystery of like discovering what yeah. the fuck's a Super Saiyan thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah that's Super true. Saga. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, for sure. The Freezer Saga is fucking awesome. Like, don't get me wrong. But, um, yeah, no, I was just thinking about that because I was, like, rewatching. just I really like the Saiyan it. saga, but I've seen it so many times because it would always loop back around to it. That's my thing, like, yeah. Fuck, I don't want to watch this anymore. And, like, the Majin Buu saga is just my least favorite just because, like, it's kind of... Oh, bonus, really? But... That's fucking I don't know. funny. I like the power scaling in that, you know what I mean, in Majin Buu and shit like that where it's, like, it just seems like... I don't know, it's just more fun without being ridiculous. That's why I never got into Super so much, because, like, it's in this, like, ridiculous category now. You know what I mean? Where they're like, no, yeah. now we're fighting gods and shit, and, like, literal universe destroyers. And I'm like, ah, oh, god damn it, this is fucking stupid. When their fists hit each other, the whole universe shakes. I'm like, okay. <laughs> but I liked, I liked in the Boo Saga, like, that level of power scale, like, because it still seemed, like, feasible within the universe, I guess. Yeah, I liked some of the <laughs> saga. Like, I liked the tournament part at the beginning. That was fun. Yeah, right it's in. But obviously, Majin Vegeta is my shit. But uh, yeah, that's good shit. That's so good when he turns evil again. Oh, that's so good. Welcome, Brennan. Hey, how's it going, man? Hey. <clears throat> Not bad. Not bad. Having a good busy week. Day. It was a busy one. Yeah, it was good. How was, was good. your uh, How was your shoot? Good. I had two today. Dos. Dos shootos. Two today. Doso. Dos. Of, uh, dos shootos. 
That was like a combination of uh, Mexican and Japanese. Was there, was there any Jake's full moves? No, none of that. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. Maybe next time. I'll keep my fingers crossed. <laughs> Maybe next time the driver will show up, get out of the car, and just have pants on. You're like, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, whoa. If we're doing that. That's how we're going. I didn't think this is the direction we were taking, but all right, I'll get the lighting ready. So you let me show you my first gear shifter. You're like, whoa, dude. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. But you got those. I got kicked out of my first spot today. Oh, yeah? Yeah. By security guard? Uh, it was all good. Yeah, it was all good because we were done by that point. And the security guy was really cool. Oh, that's good. He liked, he liked cars and shit. Um,. Yeah, we were all done. We were up top of this one uh, parking garage. We are up top of here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah. So we were up top of this parking garage at, like, City Plaza. And um, there was, yeah, maybe there was a barrier on, like, the fifth level that said closed. But maybe there wasn't, mm. you know? So, maybe I don't uh, read so good. I, maybe I don't read very well, and maybe that sign was already shifted to the side yeah. and kind of, you know, opened up. So maybe we brought the car up. We were up there for, like, probably a good hour. Got some awesome fucking shots with, like, big skyscrapers in the back. And then, nice. yeah, as we were wrapping up, this dude just kind of, like, these two security guards just kind of walked out of this door. But he was really chill. He was, like, you know, looked like someone I'd hang out with, like all tattoos and shit. And he was like, fuck, he's like, that's a nice car. And I was just like, already when he came out, I was like, we're going, man. Like, I never will put up a fuss. It's easy. He's just like, nah, we're heading out. And he's like, he's like, thanks, dude. By the way, he's like, nice car. So literally didn't even have anything said to us. That's cool. At least he was a but, good dude uh, about it. Yeah. Well, there was like a group of other people actually literally up there too. They came up like half hour into our shoot and they were off at the side doing like portrait photography and shit. What a bunch like, of fucking people. poachers, dude. Yeah, yeah, poaching my spot and shit. I think they're so cool. Should've do you know? Them off the do you know their dude. fucking Instagram? We can send everybody to flame them and call them douche. <laughs> that's but, uh, the kind of yeah, creators so we good. are. We did that. Got kicked out, but it was all good. Like I said, the dude was really chill yeah. about it, and no. he was like complimenting the car. He's like, "Oh shit!" He's like, "That's a nice car," and I'm like, "We're leaving, man." He's like, "Ah, no worries." He's like, "Thank you." It sounds so, like you but, got but was kicked it a out the what? So it wasn't a firebird? Oh, Did the guy have a sick perm? Yeah, you missed, you, yeah, <laughs> you missed my story there from earlier where I was talking about like being able to pin people by their looks. You know what I mean? And there's like this dude at my work who has like a perm, like a like a John Bon Jovi perm, and these reflective safety glasses that he wears that are all like neon and shit. And I'm like, that yeah. fucking douchebag definitely drives a firebird. And like, you know, yeah, it's funny because he did, he did drive a firebird. Uh, conversely, I I can do the same by like just looking at a car. You know what I mean? Right. Like, totally see the person like, that drives I know who it. Drives that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. You cannot convince me otherwise that Pontiac drivers don't fuck their sisters. <laughs> Strong stance. Strong stance. Strong stance, I man. Like it. Any I like old it. Pontiac is just the uh, like, like those old. Oh man, I hate hey, them. They're just so your, disgusting and redneck up, looking. My uh, and, my dad uh, used to have a Pontiac back in the day when those, I remembered, and yeah. he's a piece of garbage. So I'm not putting it past him. I'm not putting it past him. It's quite possible. I did see, I saw like a 60, I think it was like a 65. <laughs> <laughs> it just, it all adds up when you put the evidence oh together. My God. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm going to say. That's oh, all I'm gonna Jesus. Say. If you want to defend yourself, dad, you know where I am. It's fine. You can come talk to me after <laughs> these 15 years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Hmm. World's Today, worst therapy. <laughs> I actually saw it on nice gotcha. like last or, or during this week. It was like a '65 Firebird, like an old muscle car. Oh, I think it was damn! A, Ooh, that's it was like an all. Of that's cool. Yeah, but he's like, fucked oh. like three relatives in that. Thing. <laughs> my mom, oh. my mom's like he didn't have any sisters though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I retract my statement then. <laughs> Did he have brothers? Oh my god, thank you so much for that comment, Susan. That was great. Holy. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that really added oh, to that. Thank you. <laughs> a young ant. How about a young ant? <laughs> There's got to be something. Come on, work with us here. Oh. I just, I'm sorry, I'm sorry to any Pontiac drivers, oh. just old Pontiacs, like 90s Pontiacs, like 80s, well, like, they just look so trashy to break me. Break the stereotype, marry somebody who isn't related to you, and it won't, <laughs> like, and we won't have to perpetuate this, it's not a problem. 
<laughs> but then there's the ultimate pun hack, the Aztec. Mm. Oh my god. Yeah, the yes, Aztec. The old Walter White mobile. The, the sail on wheels, dude. That thing is an unstoppable force of nature. Once it hits about 150, well, I had like a rendezvous, but um, it's pretty much the same thing. You know what I mean? Once that thing gets above 130, you know what I mean? It's kind of just on its own momentum and it's like an unstoppable force. It just does what it does. You know what I mean? Your, your mom's so, like, he only has two brothers. Yeah, I know that's true. Ooh. And one of them's yeah, one of them's pretty slick. All right, all right, all right. That's all right. You know what? I feel like I should stop bis- disparaging the, my family on a public forum. <laughs> <laughs> all right, back to oh. talking shit about Pontiacs. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> Sideline that one real quick. Brendan had a good shoot, got kicked out of shoot by cool security guy who will eventually yeah, become cool Brendan's guy. best friend and join us on the podcast. Yeah, yeah inevitably. That's inevitably, definitely yeah. what's going to happen. That's the course of So I'll be back there again because that was an amazing spot. <laughs> nice. I'll get kicked out again. Nice. Yeah, and yeah. This time. And be like, here's the deal, yeah. dude. You give us one more hour of being able to take photos at your at your garage and we'll give you one hour on our podcast. and we'll make You fun can of plug them. anything you want. Yeah. As long as you're okay with being we don't made fun care. of and being called a reason. He's like, I do photography too. It's just like pictures of girls from behind. They're like, oh, that's a little weird. Like, it, it, like <laughs> un- and unknowingly and shit. Subway shops yeah, exactly. or something. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, unknowingly. Like, we're like, dude, dude, no, no. Fuck, man. No, we're not promoting this. This is fucking horrible. You're an awful person. <laughs> you said oh anything. God. You said anything. I let you take you those said pictures. anything goes. I let you take the pictures of those cars. I let you do that. You said anything, you motherfucker. One oh hour. God. You promote my then, rainy um, pictures. So we did that, and then I was at a second. We were at a second one at um, a building that looked like, well, this. It was really uh, right uh, close to me, and it was that. Ooh, real fancy looking and shit. That's nice. Nice entrance on it and stuff. Nice glass doors and, like, two little benches on the side. Concrete pad in the middle. I would expect them so to make like, high-end products for sure. So I got him to, like, back up onto that. And, um, uh, yeah, there was, like, a couple cars there. There was, like, four cars there and lights on in that office. We were there for, like, oh, probably, like, an hour and 15 minutes, an hour 20 minutes. No one ever came out and said anything. Nice. I know for a fact they saw us there doing it. They but, were just like, yeah, whatever. Like I said. We're just sitting, taking photos, right. weren't doing anything, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, I don't ever get anyone to, you know... Not like you're burning be, the tires Be loud with shit. your car, or exactly, like, burning the tires. Like, okay, right. maybe there was one of those on my Instagram with yeah. the motorbike, but we were out in the country. I was gonna we say, weren't anywhere near any business. That was, was a much more a controlled A broken down lot. It was an already broken down lot that was dead. <laughs> right. far past needed repairing, so it's not like we damaged it by doing a burnout on it or exactly. anything like that. Like, I always keep my shit, you know, aside from maybe going up to that top of that building today. But again, no dar- no damage. We're not being stupid. I'm not, we're not running around being loud and right. doing shit like that. So it's always people. within, it's always respectful. For and sure, man. whenever I get told to leave, I leave. So You're like, no worries, but, um, me compadre. But yeah, that, that place that I was at, I can't remember what it was called, Ele- Elementex or something like that. I don't know. It's just Ooh. off. It's just off veterans, but um, super nice name. because, like I said, they definitely saw that we were there. Yeah, they were just um, like whatever. Just, yeah. they're not doing nothing. Just never bothered because again, we weren't. It was the two but like the two guys, the, the guy that owned the car and his buddy, just standing off the side and just snapping a bunch of shots. Yeah, right, that's so it's awesome. Like, what are we doing? It's the best what way to do damage. That nothing, kind of shit, man. There was always, yeah. like, uh, when I'd see, like, buskers outside, it would always, like, hurt my heart a little bit when you'd see, like, the business people come out and be like, you can't fucking, you can't leave. stand and here like, and play music. It's like, what, it's like what is that really stopping hurting? people from coming in and eating? Literally. It's like, oh, it's damaging business. It's like, is it, is though? It though? Like, Someone that wants to come in and eat, are they going to not literally. because there's a guy playing? Like, exactly. fuck off. It's like, I could see really if they were, like, standing off. in front of the fucking doorway or something. Like, yeah. all right, sure, you know what I mean? But, like, sure, man, but like, dude, awesome. you stand it beside your fucking store on the sidewalk playing some guitar and singing some tunes or something like that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. fuck off, dude. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. No. Like. That's such a ridiculous present. Yeah, you know what I mean? But it's like the same thing. It's like if you're not hurting anybody and you're not fucking causing like any major disruption and shit like that, you know what I mean? Like, like what's, the what's the problem, dude? What's the fucking issue? You can play here, but if I hear fucking Wonderwall, you're out. You're gone. You're fucking <laughs> you're gone. gone. Yeah. No second chance. We all have our limits, all right? Even us, the being the progressive business <laughs> owners that we are, we will not stand for your Oasis bullshit. Yeah, no, I can, I can, I can get behind that for sure, dude. If I heard Wonderwall... Or like uh, "Wanted Dead or Alive" by Bon Jovi. I'm gonna break. I'm gonna probably break that guitar <laughs> on your head. 
<laughs> You're not getting a toonie out of me. It's my toonie now, you well, fuck. Or like, uh... Oh, what the fuck's that band? I don't know. I feel like you might like them, Martin, but I, I hate Radiohead. I don't know why people love well, Radiohead. Well, I'm not a huge Radiohead fan. I like a couple of Radiohead songs, but yeah, no, I'm not a big, big, uh, big junkie for that shit in any stretch. I'm in the same boat as you. I don't really understand the huge appeal of them. It's not my thing. Oh, what? Radiohead. Yeah, that type of stuff, like that. No, mm-hmm. just Radiohead in general, because even like other oh. bands that are like similar to them, I can kind of get behind it and be like, oh, I can kind of see where this is okay. But Radiohead in, in specific, I'm, I, I don't get it, man. I don't. I don't. I'm not a fan of that it. stuff. Yeah, no, no, that's not your thing. I like all that. <laughs> this like, is um, like uh, Danny fucking. I like yeah. all that like acoustic fucking lame singer songwriter bullshit music. That's like my right down my jam folk music and shit like that. That's like my favorite kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah I don't mind that. I don't know. It's just that. I oh guess, yeah. yeah. Speaking well, of uh, just them, I guess kind of like, just don't like them. Stupid lame loser folk music and shit. I went out um, to Long McQuaid and I got a little. Well, I can see you can see it here a little pop filter for myself. Yeah. For like twenty dollars. And then I got myself a new capo. Yeah. Yeah. I was pretty excited for capo. that. Capo. Little, little Capo <laughs> Jones there. You know what I mean? Because I was like, I didn't have one for the longest time because I lost mine and shit. So now I can do all kinds of yeah, like so higher nice. key things and be happy about it. Yeah. Oh, I forgot I got one with my uh, my grandpa's guitar. That ovation that I got from him. Ovation. Nice. Yes. But uh, actually, it's beautiful. I haven't shown this thing yet. Yeah, get it. Do Not it. on... Uh, I love guitars, man. Oh, guitars are so beautiful. Yeah, I listen to singer-songwriter stuff to cry sometimes. <laughs> Me too, Lara. Me too. I just don't cry because I don't have that capability of being born with a penis. <laughs> yes, I got this. But uh, I know where you're coming from. I, I, I liked... Oh, that's a beautiful guitar. From my grandfather. That is a beautiful guitar. I love that, the sound hole on that. That's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, that's oh, neat, dude. Oh, it's got like three dots on the 12 hole. T- oh, it's electric acoustic, too. Nice. Yeah, it's supposed to be electric, too. It's got a crazy nice tone. It's electric. That's a nice guitar. Little capo one action right there. Mm-hmm. One moment. Oh. A little spoiler alert for uh, upcoming episodes. Either 26 or 27, we're going to do a music special for anybody who's out there. So yes. um, look forward to that one because I'm highly, highly looking forward to that episode. But we're all gonna pick Do you a not band. suck at guitar? Come, come join us. Yeah, let us know if you, uh, yeah, if you're out there and you're a musician and you know what I mean, and you have the capabilities to do this kind of stuff, like to play live over the internet, then let us know. And um, yeah, yeah, man, we could totally bring you on for uh, for the episode because we are. Or hey, if you have any people. friends that you think could take that on, for tag sure. them right now tag in the comments. On, bring them in or any bands that you want to see come on Do it. have the capability. Do like, it. We're not, uh, we're not limited to just five people stuff. watching. You know some musical people. There's yeah. five people. That's in right. Two minutes. I want to see a name tag. Some, tag some bands. Get them in here. We're ending the show. No, we're not. Yeah, but... let, let's not go too extreme, okay? <laughs> Ultimatums never work in my favor. <laughs> I've tried them in the past, and I always end up lonely. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's for 26 or 27. We're not quite sure yet because we're still working out all the details. But uh, we are going to do a music special. Um, yeah, yes. where we're going to bring on a bunch of bands or acoustic artists or whatever the fuck it is that tickles our fancy as individuals. Hell, and if you're good at the spoons. On. If you're good enough at the spoons. Yeah, man. If we like it and we think we're good, then we'll bring you on. Yeah, we'll bring the band on. They're going to play a song or two, and then we'll keep them around for, an, like, 20 minutes or something for an interview. And you know what I mean? Awesome. If you have any, like, yeah. questions you want to ask your those bands or any of that shit, up. let us know, yeah. and we'll ask them. Nothing's off limits. You want to you want to know about you want to know about their, their genitals and uh, where they place them? Ask yeah, them. Yeah, what gets them we'll off. Ask them. I'll ask them. I don't care. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. One second. I'll be right back. You will be right back. And we'll be right here. Jared, what are, you and he's gone. what are you looking at in your phone there, Jared? Oh, I just went onto my own profile instead of using ours, and I just commented, Slayer! Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if somebody could tag Carrie King, that'd be really great. I would say Pantera, <laughs> but I don't really align with their white supremacist values anymore, so I don't know if I can have Phil and Salmo. And the, and the two best members are, you know, dead. Yeah, yeah, the only one that I really enjoyed is dead as fuck. <laughs> Oh, that's so unfortunate. And then they left the racist one alive. God damn, world. 
stuck in the stuck in the. I'm still around. I'm in a band. Like, shut up. I'm Rex. here. I'm here. Shut the fuck up, Rex. Shut up. Nobody cares. I actually saw. I forgot what it's <laughs> called now. Feel bad. But I saw them play at Norma Jeans like two years ago for like ten bucks. It was actually awesome. He should like <laughs> he should just completely like um, remove himself from Phil Anselmo. You know what I mean? Just call himself like Black Supremacist or something. Just like to completely <laughs> distance himself from everything that Phil Anselmo stands for. Uh, He's like, no, we're not that guy. No, we we weren't all that bad. That was just him. It was just it was just Phil. They should just bring back the original vocalist. Nah, I don't think we should go that far. What was that guy's name? I don't know. Nobody it was does. Stupid. It was like Terry Glaze or something like that. That's so bad. <laughs> Terry Glaze. Sounds like a porn star, dude. <laughs> That's awful. Why? Why would you name your children that? That's such a bad idea. Terry Glaze. Oh my god. Oh, you know what I've been doing this week, Jared? What's up? I've been uh, I've been on like this like nostalgic yeah, Star it was Wars. Terry Glaze. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've been on this like nostalgic Star Wars kick in the last little bit, so I've been like watching all the movies and shit, and like those just specialized editions, right? And then um, I started going back and Did like you watch the Christmas special. Yeah, of course. Of course. Did you see that they're making a Lego Star yeah, Wars a Lego Christmas, Christmas special? Yeah. I don't know if it's gonna be like a one for one of that. They're just remaking it. But I that's hope so. Funny. I hope they have the scene where the young Wookiee almost comes in virtual reality. Because that wasn't awkward for anyone that was involved. That was just that was just clean, good fun. But um, yeah, I've been watching all kinds of Star Wars, and then I started playing like old Star Wars games because I have like literally every Star Wars game that's ever been made on PC. Are you playing, like Knights of the Old Republic. No, I haven't been playing Knights of the Old Republic. Knights of the Old Republic is a May game for me. I play that every year in May for uh, Star Wars month. Oh, word. Because I'm a fucking loser like that. Because May the 4th be with you. That's right. <laughs> but yeah, no, every May I, I play yeah. the first Knights of the Republic through again. That's like that's probably one of my favorite games of all time, honestly. Nice. Um, I, I can't get enough of that shirt, Chris. Were you playing fucking pod racing for the N64? Yeah, but they have pod racer, uh, a port that they made for PC. So I was playing it on PC. Yes. And then I was also playing X-Wing Alliance. Well, um, which I don't know. You ever, that, have you ever played that? Is that an old one or a new yeah, one? Yeah, no, it's old as fuck, like early two thousands okay. or something. But um, it's like those old X Wing versus Tie Fighter games kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like where it's just like space combat and shit like that. Yeah, it's supposed to be more of like a simulator, as it were, or whatever. But um, yeah, it goes through like all the missions on the fucking uh, through the movies and shit like that, and you get to like fly in all of them and shit like that and do all the combat. And uh, that's a, it's a really good time been really having nice. a lot of fun with that game that one's really good and then i've been playing between that and then i've been playing um uh jedi knight 2 jedi outcast i don't know if you ever played those games the jedi knight no, games. dude oh. they're so good god damn we gotta yeah. get you a computer jared we yeah, definitely gotta get you a computer these games are so good because they're like classics you know what i mean like um they came out like so so long ago and shit like that but they were like so fucking pinnacle and so well done like, um, yeah, the Jedi Knight series is so cool. It's all about, like, a uh, character Kyle Katarn, and, like, his dad was a Jedi, and... Uh, was his dad Christopher Katarn? <laughs> oh, that'd be way cooler. No, it's not. Not at all. I'd have the rocks for you guys. Just some loser <laughs> asshole man. But his dad gets, like, assassinated <laughs> because he was, like, trying to find this place called, like, the Valley of the Jedi. Well, that's all later. In the original canon, before Rogue One was a thing and all that shit, Kyle Katarn was the character that stole the Death Star plans. Like, the original Death Star plans, and brought them to the, to the Empire. So the first game, like, uh, Sha or, um, Dark Forces, I think it's called? Yeah, Dark Forces. That one um, is, like a, uh, <laughs> is a, um, like a Doom clone, essentially. You know what I mean? It was, like, made at the same time, basically, as Doom. And oh, shit. Like, that style of, like, first-person shooter and shit like that. But all Star Wars. Lots of strafing. Yeah, lots of strafing. A lot of strafing. And, uh, but it used, a, like, a real 3D engine. I think it was one of the first FPSs to actually use a real 3D engine. Where, like, instead of using sprites and shit like that, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was, like, it actually had, like, right. like uh, real 3D characters and shit. But, yeah, anyway, so, yeah, there was Dark Forces. And that was where, like, Kyle Katarn stole the Death Star plans. And then Dark Forces 2, Jedi Knight was where, like, you found out that your dad was, like, he got killed and you found out that he was a Jedi and shit like that, and then you get a lightsaber, and then you become a Jedi. 
What color lightsaber is it? A green cool color? It's green. Ooh. It's badass. It's fucking badass. And you can play like it was like the first game I can ever actually remember where you got to play a game with a lightsaber. And it was like you could play in first person or third person. It was fucking sweet, dude. So, oh, nice. Yeah. So it was like when you'd pull the lightsaber out, it would always go to third person, but you could switch back kind of thing. You know what I mean? And then, yeah, you could play like first person. <laughs> yeah, dude. It was so good. And if you like cut up, there was like stormtroopers and shit. If you like went up and like chopped them, it would like chop their arms off and shit. It was like, yeah, dude. That's the shit. Those are good games. <laughs> That's dope. And then, yeah, then they made, like, a whole, like, plethora of sequels. So there's, like, Jedi Knight 2 and 3. And, like, Jedi Outcast and Jedi Academy. And then there's all the expansions, too. Because remember back in the day when games didn't have DLC, they actually released, like, real expansions? Yep. So for the original Jedi Knight, they had this thing called Mysteries of the Sith. And it was, like, all this expansion where it was, like, Kyle Katarn's Apprentice, uh, Mara Jade. And, like... I don't know if you've ever heard of Mara Jade, but in the Legends canon, Mara Jade is the person that goes on to marry Luke Skywalker, and then they have a bunch oh, of okay. kids together and shit. Mm. Yeah, they fuck, and then they make Jedi babies. But little Jedi babes. All of that. You, did you you know all that knowledge that I just like disposed and vomited on you? Doesn't matter now. All useless. All of it useless. It means nothing. None of that that I enjoyed is actually allowed to be enjoyed anymore because it didn't happen. Disney's like, fuck you, Martin. Yeah, the big eared oh, fucking the big eared Nazi mouse said that I'm not allowed to enjoy Kyle Katarn anymore because apparently it was fucking Jin Urso and her stupid father that did things with a crew of Spanish rebels and a robot. I liked K2SO. He was a gangster. I liked that whole movie. It was really good. That movie was good. I didn't hate it at all. I think we were talking about this, before, like, just me and you, like, recently. But, like, in the theaters, people were like, oh, I liked it, but, like, I wish everybody didn't die. That was sad. I'm like, did you not know that going into this they movie? They had like, to die, die, you fucking idiots. It's like it was already established that they were all going to fucking die. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ugh. Like, no, but yeah, no, I enjoyed that movie. The only one that I, the spinoff one that I didn't really care for was that fucking uh, Solo movie. I really, I haven't it. watched it. I have no it was desire to watch it. Boring as fuck, man. Just so boring, you know what I mean? Like, every time you think, <coughs> like, something would happen in it, it was just, like, more boring shit. Let's get young Han Solo, okay? And then they cast, the actor that played him was older than Harrison Ford was when he played Han Solo in Star Wars. Yeah. What the fuck is that? (laughs) Like, get, like, Like, an 18-year-old or something. You're not even trying. Like, get Tom Holland. He could play young Han Solo. Yeah, no shit. I would have bought that. I guess, yo, speaking of Tom Holland, too, I guess he's playing fucking Nathan Nathan Drake. Drake. Yeah, he looks pretty swole, dude. I didn't even know that was a thing. I was like, what the fuck? They're making an Uncharted movie? That's actually badass. They've been talking about it for like a year or so, I think. Yeah. That's fucking sweet. Now they got Tom Holland playing fucking Nathan Drake. Dude, I'll watch that movie. That sounds really good. <laughs> it looks pretty good. Yeah, you know that, that mystery looked great. I've kind of forgotten about mm. the like newer Tomb Raider movie that's kind of like spun off of like the new trilogy. With Alicia I Vic- Vikander or whatever her name is? I don't know, the hot one. <laughs> yeah, no, no, for sure. It's Alicia Vic- v- uh, Vikander, I think. I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing yeah. it right. That movie's not bad. Alicia like, Vikander definitely... is the uh, the same chick that was in Ex Machina. And, uh, like, she played oh, the robot oh, in Ex Machina. The robot? Yeah, that that's her. She is fucking With awesome. Fucking, uh, she is Oscar so... Isaac. Yeah. Dude, she is such a fucking good actress. She is so yeah. good. Everything she's in is fucking Agreed. good. I agree. Yeah, Brandon, that's right. We're talking about yeah, um, uh, Alicia Vikander, or Alicia Vikander, the chick that played, like, the robot in Ex Machina, and she played uh, Lara Croft in the new Tomb Raider movie. Okay, I haven't seen the new Tomb Raider movie, actually. Oh, uh, we were just I shit. loved that Ex Machina movie. Yeah, that was, like, she that's was, one um, of my favorite movies. It's not, too, like, Ex Machina too. level of a movie. We're not putting it out No, there, no, it's, it's not a... that smart. No, or anything like that. It's just a fun <laughs> Wait, action what? romp. Well, she was in Tomb Raider. She's Lara Croft uh, in okay. the new Tomb Raiders. <laughs> And, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah, it's obviously not even, like, comparable to, like, Ex Machina in terms of, like, no, movie no. watching and shit. But it's still a fun movie. Like, don't get it wrong. Tomb Raider's a good, good yeah. watch. Especially if you've played any of the new uh, trilogy. Yeah. yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. That Ex Machina. But, Ex Machina's uh, incredible. New... It was good. But we were going off like about that... uh, the actress there, Alicia, Alicia, or Alicia, I don't know how to pronounce it, Alicia Vikander or Vikander or something. But that's the actress that plays, okay. like, that character and shit. We and, we uh, got into incredible. it by saying that uh, 
where, how we didn't really give a shit about the solo movie and they could have had a better person play Han, Han Solo. I watch it. Yeah, me either. Yeah, and I was like, same boat as him, Tom yeah. Holland. Good. Then we went to Tom Holland as Nathan Drake. Yeah. And then we got. Have you seen that, Brendan? They're making an Uncharted movie? Um, I literally saw like the little snippet of it the other day. I literally just saw an article on yeah. Facebook, or maybe it was maybe it's just my Google yeah. thing because it knows yeah, them, yeah. you know, it knows your preferences and right. shit. Um Yo, and that's it was, yeah, been, gaming, like... so you like this. And yeah, it was just kind of like a side shot of Tom Holland with like a in the Nathan Drake like, whatever outfit. that kind of yeah, like yeah. that outfit and yeah, stuff. Man. And, and he's like, like like Jared said, he yeah. got fucking thick too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he got, I he love got that big. guy. To no, be me too. I fucking he's love great. Tom Holland. He's yeah. the shit. Shit, yeah, man. and he's like he so fucking, so genuine. That, that you know what I mean? Like, yeah, man, he's. Aw- I just love him in like interviews. Like he's still such a. Ki- oh, my daughter yeah. completely. <laughs> 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 I didn't realize she completely tied this in a knot. <laughs> She was screwing with these at one point. I didn't realize what she was doing. She's like a little pickpocket, oh dude. You don't even know. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> she got you. Try to help oh, you out. No. But yeah, no, yeah, I him agree, like in man. I love interviews that and shit. Like he's just such a. Well, I mean, he is young. He's yeah. like, what is? What was he like? Eighteen when he started in the Spider Man. Honestly, yeah, have no idea. Yeah. Do, uh, interview by himself because he kept actually giving away. Yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. And he couldn't interview by himself. It was the funniest thing. And then I think they hammed that up a bit. Like, I think Marvel played into that. Oh, with yeah. Few things, oh, 100%. For sure. They did the same thing with Mark Ruffalo. Mark Ruffalo, though, was terrible. Yeah. Yeah. He fucking live streamed in his pocket with a premiere. Yeah, by accident. Yeah. Because yeah. he didn't know uh, how to, like, turn the stream off. Got, like, 20 minutes in and was, like, people were, like, call- like someone, turn like, had it to off. come up to him, like, stop it. And like, he's like, what? What are you talking about? And they're like, God <laughs> that damn was it, man. Terrible. Was that Infinity War or Endgame? It was one of the I two. Remember. I can't remember, but yeah, it was one of those two like huge movies. I think it was Infinity War. I think it was the first one. Yeah, it I definitely think they, might have been. Like, Don't worry, he won't but, like do it for this one. But or I something. remember there was like interviews where he was talking too, and they were like asking about like characters next dying. One. Yeah, everyone like, dies. The guy's one. like, "Don't do." Everybody dude. dies. Yeah, and then fucking Rhodey's like, "Dude, dude, dude, dude." And he's, he's like, like oh, "Should he I not have said yeah. that? Should I not have said that?" It's like, he's like, well, wait, no, not everybody dies. Not everybody. <laughs> yeah, it was just like, oh, like, my God. When you say Rhodey, you mean like Don Cheadle, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just don't care what his actual name is because that's the only character that matters to me at this point. Your, your career is subverted. <laughs> yeah, that was great. We got to, we gotta like, go off on those fucking – that's so funny that Remember we brought this up. Remember the Spider-Man movie? It was a different actor. It was uh, yeah, Howard. It was Howard uh, – uh, Terrence, Terrence Howard. Terrence yeah. Howard. Yeah. In what? In uh, the first Iron Man, it was Terrence Howard that played Rhodey. Oh, and then Terrence Howard wanted too much money and shit, and they were like, "Yo, you understand that we're gonna be making right. like twenty five movies out of this shit, right? Like, you're gonna make your end up. Don't worry." And he's like, "No, I want my money now." And they were like, "All I right, was, you're fired. I hey, want see ya. All yeah, life. we're gonna get Don Shield because he's a reasonable human being and doesn't mind making money off of twenty movies instead of one. So <laughs> yeah, have a good life." Uh. Yeah. yeah, and it was like, go fuck yourself, dude. I don't know. It was just that whole thing. It just seemed like he came off at the point where it was like he was just being too greedy for his own good kind of thing off of the all, all the uh, interviews and quotes that I heard. Like, he was, like, spouting at Robert Downey Jr. for being, like, the only reason that Robert Downey Jr. got the role was because he recommended him for it and shit like that. You know what I mean? And, like, so he, like, felt like he owed him and shit. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, you're wow. that guy. Oh, oh I Okay. I get oh. it. I get it. I get it. So go fuck yourself, essentially. Yeah, you know what, what I mean? Dick. So what like, a dick. Yeah. I'm like, I'm kind of glad that you're not involved in this anymore. Because, yeah, Don Shield is fucking awesome as War Machine and, and Rhodey oh, yeah. and shit. He's fucking great in those movies, dude. I think he does a better job playing off of, like, Robert Downey Jr.'s personality than fucking Terrence Howard did. Terrence Howard just seemed like an overbearing mother in that first movie, you know what I mean? <laughs> Where he was like, you can't be doing anything, blah, blah, blah. Where it was like, Don Shield was just like, God damn it, Tony. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that kind yeah. of, like, everything, you know what I mean? He's like, <laughs> he's like, for fuck's sake, like, again, you're doing this, sh-, like, you know what I mean? He's like, I can't stop you from doing this, but, like, holy fuck, man, you know what this is. Where it was like, yeah, Terrence Howard was like the overbearing mother, you know what I mean? Where it was like, oh, just like controlling everything and shit. Like, oh, yeah, now mm. we're better off without you. We don't need you in this shit. <laughs> Plus, like, I think history has like stood that test of time, you know what I mean? As as to what the, the 20 plus Marvel movies that have been made since that and their like box office uh, successes and shit like that, you know what I mean? Like, 
Oh, yeah. But those movies did fine without you. <laughs> they did just fine. He's just sitting at home. That's, saying, I love that set of movies. Dude, oh, they're one much. of my absolute favorite yeah. sets of movies. In the, Actually, uh, I want to do that like, go through chronologically again. Yeah, dude. Start and just do like dude, a Dude, we big, should do uh, that. We, that. We should like, do that. start with Captain America? Yeah. No, no, no. But like from the release. Like releases. Do them Do them in order release. That's so much more fun to okay. me. But yeah, start yeah. with like the first Iron Man and then work your way through them all and shit. But we should do that, I, and we should do that as um, we should do that as like a fucking um, like a like a the three of us or whatever, the four of us with Kieran and shit, where we all just yeah, chill yeah, out. yeah, yeah, yeah. Not like don't have to stream it or anything, obviously like that. But we just watch them all on Discord kind of thing. Yeah, and we can all just I'm chill down. out and watch them. That'd be totally fucking down. yeah, because I've been wanting to do that too and go back and like restart the whole series. I've been itching for. Yeah, the, we could totally movie, do that. Man. Someone could just have it stream yeah, it on I, the I have, computer. I have all of them, and I have and Discord then we can all just chill. You know what I mean? So I can stream them in 1080p, and then, yeah, we just, like, I just stream it to the fucking channel, and then we all just chill out and fucking put our cameras on and smoke weed and watch the movie together and shit. Dude, I'm down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, we'll definitely do that, man. That sounds like a good time. And anybody else who wants to come join us is more than welcome to and shit like that. As I tell them they can't, you're like, anybody else yeah. who wants to come? Fuck don't Jared. Listen. Don't listen to Jared. If you want to come watch movies with us and shit like that, you are more than welcome to come watch movies with us for sure, dude. But uh, You just gotta bring snacks. Always, always bring snacks. I like the pretzel M and M's. Those are my favorite for movie snacks. I like peanut M and M's. Ooh, I like the peanut M and M's. <sighs> yeah, you guys are so generic. I'm, see, it's funny because I'm not a big peanut. Like I, I like peanut butter like as a sandwich. But aside from that, I don't really like peanut butter cookies. I don't like anything that has like peanut butter cooked into it. Not a big fan of it. But those peanut M and M's, man, I can fuck. I can fucking do those. Do you fuck with like just bags of peanuts? I would just fuck a bag yeah. of Yeah. Yeah. I like just raw peanuts and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Dude. No, that's I can do like peanuts. I can do like yeah, like <coughs> peanut butter sandwich or like raw peanuts. Aside from that, regular M and M's are the Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. No. yeah. No, I can I can jump on board regular with that. M&Ms are great. Rem regular M and M's are like the, the, the cornerstone staple though. You know what I mean? That's the, yeah, they that's just the one that nobody quick, can though. argue. I can just eat like a whole bag so dude that's why you gotta those. go to walmart and get the fucking one kilogram bag have you ever seen oh, that man. i didn't even know that existed until like two weeks ago and now i have they diabetes because they know yeah oh my <laughs> god it's so good it's it's literally like the size of my fucking giant melon you know what i mean like of m m's just i just stuffed. That, but uh cadbury mini eggs oh those mm. are good too uh, Those yeah, are some yeah. of the best. Mini eggs are real good, but they literally give me like fucking toothaches. You know what I mean? Because they're like just pure liquid sugar. Yeah. I literally Pretty ate much. a whole bag today. I said to share, but I did not. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you, and I respect your choice. Never ever share a whole bag of shareable M and M's. It's not made to be shareable just because it says shareable. Doesn't I know it's it like to share, and it's yeah. like go ah. fuck yourself, you socialist piece of shit. I'm eating it all. How about that one, like there's not that much in here. Yeah, yeah. What am I supposed to redistribute my M and M's yeah, to the like, less what? worthy? No, I paid fuck three ninety nine for them. I'm eating them all. I want diabetes. <laughs> fuck you. more than that. They're fucking expensive too. Mm. Are those they? I was... bags? Yeah, no, they're probably like three ninety nine. Yeah, I was gonna say I thought, yeah, yeah, those, those little bags because they're not big. You know what I mean? Like you don't get very much yeah, of them for like lot. the fucking four fifty or whatever. Like, it comes to. When you buy them at a movie theater, and someone's like, "Yo, oh can I have some God, of those?" Dude. No, this was like twelve dollars. No, movie theaters oh God, are no. so savage. Remember Brendan when we went to go see Endgame and shit like that, right? Like we didn't pay for the tickets because we had that fucking um, reward shit or whatever. Yeah. And then, but still, it still fucking cost us like thirty dollars each. You know what I mean? Like not paying for tickets. Yeah, and like yeah, like just going in and getting fucking. We didn't even get any food. We got fucking popcorn, snacks, and drinks, and each of us paid like thirty two bucks. You know what I mean? I'm like, what the fuck is? It's just popped corn. And I find there's like no uh, no combo options anymore for like just a popcorn and a drink. No, you gotta like get you like have a to hot get the popcorn, dog. a drink, and a snack, yeah. or like nachos. Yeah, I don't um, want that shit. So if you were to get it individually if you were to just get like the pop and the popcorn you'd be paying the same fucking price as that one with the candy anyways Literally. which is like 30 fucking dollars yeah, like, so dude, it's like fine. popcorn has got to be one of the cheapest things ever it's fucking kernels it's such a and scheme. oil such a scheme kernels dude. oil and oh, fucking dude, seasoning. I, I go out and i, I popped bags bag bag upon bag. bags of that at the yeah, yeah. jlc that was like my job in the back prepping popcorn before night's games just like, like thousands of pounds of seeds yeah like yeah yeah man just it's insane. dirt cheap Oh like, yeah! I don't even want to know how little they pay for that like fifty pound bag of seeds. Since like I you know just that, take like, a scoop and that's like I can, I can go bags and, and buy, bags. I, I can buy like one of those containers of seeds. It's like literally this big, 
You know what I mean? Of like popcorn seeds. It's massive. Like you get like fucking 30 bags of popcorn out of it. And it costs yeah. like $2.99. And the only thing you need is a frying pan and a, and a teaspoon of oil. Yeah. A little bit of oil. You know what I mean? And salt like, that shit. Yeah. Bang. Bingo bango. Put a little butter on there when it's done. You know what I mean? And toss it around so it tastes all fucking movie quality retarded good and shit. There you go. You're fucking set. You paid two dollars instead of fucking fourteen. Yeah. For, for for a bag of popcorn that I'm gonna literally leave in the seat because I'm gonna piss so much through the movie that I'm not gonna eat it all anyways. <laughs> also, I think that's one of the reasons that movie popcorn is good, or like the reason that movie popcorn's got a taste because there's like that flap on it as it's cooking and all the steam gets out, so the fucking oh. popcorn doesn't like chill in the steam. Oh, and, and sure it doesn't get all yeah, soggy and I'm shit. Pretty sure it's like yeah, I'm pretty sure it's something to do with that. Well, yeah. like not even soggy because. Like, your bag popcorn isn't really soggy either. I find but, like, it more it soggy have... than movie theater shit, for sure. I always yeah. find that movie theater shit has, like, that real nice crunch to it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I've heard so it has good. something to do with that. The fa- well, that I, and the I fact that, that you're cooking it in, like, an oil. It, right. It's, like, it's kind of like a buttery right, oil. Right, right, like, right, right. It's, it's, like, it's, very, it's a very orangey-looking liquid, right, is what right, I'll say. It's right. what it's cooked in. And then you put, like, a big old scoop of this, like, seasoning, which is, like, well, salt yeah. in with it as it cooks. And, yeah, yeah. And then, oh yeah, no! I just go. want some movie God, popcorn. God, that sounds fuck. so good. Yeah, I would fuck with a giant bag of popcorn. You can order popcorn right from like Silver City on like Uber Eats. Oh my God! What does that cost you? Plus the five dollar Uber Eats charge? Like, <laughs> yeah, Jesus holy! Christ. What am I just I made of money? Fifty like, bucks for some popcorn yeah, and a drink. Let me just take. <laughs> let me just take my debit card and just burn it. You know what I mean? Like, gee, yeah. I, I think I'd be better off. Like. I'm trying to say I'm up for a Valve Index. I don't need to be spending fucking fifty dollars on goddamn popcorn. Just, just like, send Silver City your card info. Just here. And just take it. it. Yeah, just have it all. Here, just, just take it. All. Is that is that where you guys saw? I assume it? I'll get like five yeah. items. There you go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, five hot dogs. You know what I mean? One of them with cheese. Five hot dogs for all of the money. Yeah, for all of the money <laughs> I have. Yeah. I've been saving up like a motherfucker. I've been working like crazy hours. I've been doing like 52 hour weeks and shit like that. Saving up for one of them nice, fucking man. valve indexes. Yeah, dude. Thank you. I appreciate that. That's that's really, that's really good. Man. Yeah. No, I it, yeah. I wish it's I had really that good. opportunity. <laughs> yeah. I know we were talking about that before where you just yeah. get kind of shafted on that. Like you don't even have to. Hey, but hey, I made like 200 bucks just off the one shoot. It there you go. There's your overtime. You know what I'm saying? That was three hours of my time. Yeah. So there you go. There's your overtime. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, ma- ma- maybe your work will feed you. Like work. Yeah. And it's no, it doesn't feel like work. I had a fucking fun time. So did Bud. And my work feels yeah, like work for the most part, except for when I stand around and play Monopoly. Yeah, that was hilarious. Monopoly? You're like, I'm playing Monopoly. I was like, all right. That's great. And I like literally just send the fucking picture of the screen. And I'm Wait, like, no, so I'm not joking. Second like, place. Are you are you working two still? Yeah, yeah, but mostly just one because like I was saying to Jared earlier, the other one kind of just like doesn't have the hours right now. So I'm doing yeah. that one like kind of part time, I guess. When was that? Was that the, the factory, cheese? The cheese the, place. The cheese factory yeah, thing. Yeah. The cheese ones all slowed down and just kind of dead in the water. But uh, okay. So the, What's the, the second uh, one, the then? metal metal place. We do like prefabricated like metal construction pieces. So like if okay. you were ordering like um, like like a roof cap for like a shed you were yeah. building, you know what I mean? And you wanted it out of twenty gauge steel. Like we're the guys that make oh, okay. that shit. You know what I mean? And we ship it to like Home Hardware, and then you buy it from Home Hardware, kind of thing. Like blah blah blah. Nice. So um, yeah. So like the machine that I run is like the shear machine. Or, like, the machine yeah, that I help yeah. run, where we, like, you know what I mean? We'll have, like, the orders on paper, and it's, like, you know, we need 15 cuts at, at 12 and a half fucking inches, and then we need this cut at this inch, blah, blah, blah. And then, yeah, we just, like, see what color they want it, what size they want it, and then we go and pull all the material off the fucking rack, set it all up, cut it to size, put it on tables, and then ship it off to, like, the uh, the press guys that bend it the into forming. shape. Yeah, 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 nice. And then, yeah, and then cool. it gets, like, wrapped up and shipped out and shit like that. But um, oh, it's decent, dude. yeah, no, it's not bad, man. It's it's like quite nice in the fact that like, um, as it far sounds as like there's like jobs, variety in there. Yes, too. that's exactly it's not it. the same it's, fucking exactly. thing every time. It's like, oh, we got to go get this one. Yeah. And, and then it's like, cut to um, this and you're like, setting up the machine. Yeah, and, man. Stuff, and you got to and... do like a bit of math and shit. You know what I mean? Because like each, yeah. each of the sheets is 36 inches, like th- uh, three yeah, feet. Yeah, around, yeah. Right. And it's like, okay, so we've got five orders here. How can here. we do it to have least waste exactly. if we can have two cuts? Exactly, because we got, like, five orders here that are ordering at this different length, this different length, this different length, yeah. but they all want the same color. So how many sheets do we need, you know what I mean, in total yeah. to make those nice. cuts, blah, blah, blah. So, so you got to yeah, think, so pretty much like, just a not little bit. brain dead fucking Exactly, like, like stand there and, like, work. push the button, like, yeah. over Yeah, like, all right, do it every top you know five like, seconds. Holy, oh, make 200 of these oh, an hour. You didn't push the button 400 times this hour. We're going to write you up. You know what yeah, I mean? It's like, yeah. oh! 
just like want to claw There's your some actual mental shit. capacity to the fucking yeah. work you're doing. It's like you gotta yeah. like think a little bit and shit like that. Yeah. So it's like, so it's, my, it's, it's reasonably you go and Exactly. Yeah, 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 no, that's, that's good, man. That's yeah. Good. And his job is to just literally, he's like in like a, not like a catwalk, but he's like in a thing above where he walks and just watches the people work. He just walks back and forth. Yep. The whole fucking yeah. shift for like 10 hours. Yeah. There was a guy that I worked with. Back and forth like 20 feet. There was a guy like, that I worked yeah. with and his job oh, was, um, he was the press setter. You know what I mean? So at the start of the night, he would like set everything up, which was like very busy for him and like very intensive and shit, obviously. You know what I mean? Yeah. But he would set it up in like an hour. And then the next seven hours of his night was literally the exact same thing as what Jared was describing, where he would just literally walk around and be like, everything good? Walk around, and make sure like, everything's good. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, everything's great, man. And they're like, cool i'm just gonna wander some more i guess you know what i mean and just yeah, like yeah. i was like god damn what a fucking boring was, existence like dude, I was it was like at uh boring. sure <laughs> the one that i did view tech in like woodstock yeah um, yeah it uh it was brutal oh my god it was just like the line that i was on was like the interior like the door cards for <laughs> jared like, the interior plastic of the door read that for... comment jared that's that's way too good. Sorry to interrupt you, Brennan, but that is that no, is no, 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 <laughs> <laughs> bitch. Yeah, that's basically all you do, um, Jared. Just watch people work instead of working. <laughs> that's like half true because I, I I work the grill, so I just have all my shit, and then I just they like, use it, and then I put more down, and I just wait. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Plus, Jared's worked there for years. He has earned the right to watch you work, yeah. okay? He's allowed mm -hmm. to watch. When you've been there as long as Jared has been there, you feel free to watch people work, all right? You've, you, oh, you've earned that, that as well. But until you're at that point, you shut up and you you let the fucking, you let the I, fella like, do it. My so. boss will come by and be like, dude, go, like, sweep that. And I'll be like, okay. And then I'll, like, go to somebody else that's, like, newer. be like, hey, can you go sweep oh, that? Oh, Jared, Jared, I love you. That's the <laughs> shit. That's when I was, like, working in kitchens, too. It was the best. My manager would come up and be like, yo, we really got to clean behind the deep fryer tonight. I'm like, yeah, you're right. We really do. And he's like, you want to stick around late and do it? And I'm like, yeah, no problem. No problem. I'll stick around late and do it. And I'm like, yo, so uh, you're closing tonight, right, Josh? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, I'm going to need you to pull that deep fryer out and clean the walls. Bye. <laughs> You know it's gonna add like three hours to my clothes. I'm like, I'm aware. <laughs> yeah, I know. Andrew comes in the next day. He's like, Wow, good job, Marty. Yeah, exactly. Hustle like, it'll be two and a half. The work world is a night. horrible place, man. It's so unfair. To be fair, every time I did shit like that, anytime he would come up to me and be like, Wow, that looks really good, I'd be like, I, I didn't do it. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. Josh did it. He stayed late. I went home. You know what I mean? And then he was like, Oh, well fuck you then i'm like yeah no that's fair fuck me that that's totally fair <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. but fuck no i could me. never like sit there i felt so bad you know what i mean like i would be like i could never do that to somebody like if they put the work into shit like that they deserve the credit for said work like that is so unfair but on the flip uh, side uh i was a supervisor in those positions and i'll be damned if i'm gonna be the one fucking on my hands and knees at one in the morning scraping fucking grease off a wall you know what i'm saying you can do that and i'll give you the credit for doing that but i'll be fucking goddamned if i'm gonna do it no thanks i spent my time in the trenches you know what i mean i took the bullets to the arm and shit like that i don't need to get shot anymore i'm done with this shit yeah no fun especially in that kind of like environment too that's that uh, that's uh all right let's open a restaurant where we just shit on our staff you just shit all over them that's hilarious yeah thank you kate thank you appreciate that this is the way the world works. You know what I mean? This is why nobody should ever be a supervisor and nobody should ever be like in a, a like a political uh, stance of power because it just goes to your head. I don't care who you are. I always thought I was like a reasonably weighed individual until they were like, you can tell everyone what to do. And I'm like, really? Dude, there's this fucking one guy that I used oh. to work with me and uh, our freezer, like our big freezer was outside because our building was so small. We had like a giant storage shed outside with our freezer in it, right, like our right. walk-in. And uh, so you needed manager's keys to get them in there. And the one guy, anytime he was, like, given a list of shit to pull out of the freezer, he would never give your keys back unless you, like, <laughs> went and like, give me our keys back. Because he told him it, he told us that it made him feel like he had power. He had <laughs> oh God. I have like, access you know, to the burgers. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> 
I can go get chicken anytime I want. <laughs> I can come back drunk at three in the morning and get spicy nuggies. Leave me alone. <laughs> Man, this one guy I worked with, he used, to, he used to watch our podcast. He still does if he's if he's not working. But uh, he would never give me my keys back without me asking for them just because he thought it was funny. Because half the time, he would use my keys, but then I would leave. I would walk home, and I'd be like, I don't have my keys like, to get fuck. into my house. So I had to walk back to work. And he'd be like, oh, oh and you, you keep all your keys on the same ring? I know I'm retarded. I need to, like, separate my work. Yeah, ones. I never, but, uh, ever had that. Never was a problem. I had my my work keys were always separate from my fucking house keys, for sure. I know, I'm just too lazy to go buy a separate thing. I don't fucking know. I but made anyways, them yeah. buy it. I charged them for it. Fuck that shit. I went and bought one of those things on a string. You know what I mean? It was like yeah. $19. Like, here's the receipt for pay me. Yeah, and I was like, here's the receipt. I expect my $19 back, you fucks. And they fucking paid me. They did it. I was like, oh, oh this is easy. Okay. Like, All right, sweet. That's that was a, easy. That's a thing I can do. Okay, good to know. But when I had to do my like joint health and safety fucking training thing, they're like, oh, yeah, it's like here. It was like past uh, Costco uh, in the south end. So, you know, Costco's already like fucking past the 401. It was like another road past that. I'm like, how the fuck do you want me to get out there? Like, what do you <laughs> like, expect from me? I don't. And know. I had to get out there at like seven in the morning and shit. So, oh, I did, that's like, uh, Kate actually drove me a few times and would pick me up. But anyways, Good from job. the Ubers that I took, I was like, yeah, you guys are paying me back for this fucking yeah, shit. Yeah, fuck that shit. I didn't so, volunteer to uh, do this. You're paying me to go there. Our district manager came and paid me out of her own money, You're like opened right. her wallet, and gave me her my money. That's <laughs> awesome. No, that's totally yeah. fair, though. You know what I mean? If it's not something that you're, like, going out of your way to pursue or whatever, like, if they're forcing you to do it, they got to fucking pay for you to get there. That's not fair. Yeah, they're like, Jared, you, you can go to this thing. I'm like, where is it? They're like, this. I'm like, where the fuck's that? So I Google Maps it. I'm like, have you seen where this place is? Yeah. Are you fucking serious with this shit? Like, you understand <laughs> that I walk to work every day, right? You, you know that, right? Like, that's a thing I do. This is when I still lived in Palm Mills and I bust, but, like, it was fucking, like, past Costco, middle of nowhere. Buses don't go out there and shit, no. especially not for 7 in the fucking yeah, morning. Say, not at 7 a.m. Nobody's shopping at Costco at 7 a.m. That's fucking... <laughs> I don't even know what time Costco opens at, actually. What time does that shit open? Uh, 9. Probably 9, 10. yeah. Yo, I had a fucking... I had a pizza from Domino's last night. Have you guys had Domino's recently? Uh, I had recently, some, actually. this one guy that comes through our drive through every day, like, like 100 times to get... Uh, vanilla Coke. He Good he used choice. to work at Domino's. Domino's, so he would bring Domino's is like fallen down, man. The last like four times I've ordered it, it has been like very subpar and not good. And uh, maybe it's just fucking uh, Stratford Domino's. Maybe that's quite possible. That's quite possible. You guys got to get your shit together though. It's it's not good. It's not a good time. I ordered it last night though because they had a deal thing where um, if you ordered any size pizza for delivery, you got a free cheesy bread with it, and they donated five bucks to some local charity. And, nice. Uh, yeah, so I was like, was it called the Martinus Poor and Wants Domino's Charity? So it like paid for it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's called uh, Mart- <laughs> Martin's First and Last Foundation. It's it's to pay for uh, Martin's First and Last and a new apartment for underprivileged people named Martin who can't afford to pay for First and Last, even though he probably could, but just doesn't want to. But yeah, so if you guys if you guys want to like donate and um, Secret X is expensive, guys. Yeah, it's not cheap, and like they just keep charging me, it, and like I just keep forgetting about it. And I'm Did like, you buy oh, a yearly subscription? I got a monthly one, and I've had it for like three months now. <laughs> oh, no. I have like a stockpile you know, of. I it. saw that. I saw the ad, so I was like, "Let's see how much this shit costs." It's not and, cheap. Like, yeah, if you do like the eighteen month one, it's like four hundred dollars. It's not cheap. Like, Whoa. It's not cheap. It's not cheap. <laughs> I need. Uh, I really, lot, really yeah. need to cancel that subscription. It's draining me, but filling me. <laughs> I, I'm gonna be honest. I stopped taking the semen X, and now I just have like a uh, like I have a surplus of semen X. So if you guys are ever interested in taking semen X, I have like four months worth. Uh, because like I just kept buying it by accident, and it's just there. And then I'll let you know how it works on that next podcast. It works real quick. I like you'll see results within like fourteen hours. No, I'm, I'm gonna take all of it in one week. I'll oh, let you have. You'll die. You'll die. <laughs> Your cock will explode and you'll bleed. Oh, out. you will die. Yeah, there's there's no walking away from that. For Just sure. Constantly leaking cum as I just walk around, <laughs> like a snail trail. Wherever trail. You go. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. <laughs> damn what you, Simonex. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> you start wearing white pants everywhere. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that was a joke. But I do have a four month supply of semen X in my bathroom. So um, if anybody wants some, I have tons of it. Just let me know. I'll bring it down next time I come to London. You guys can have some semen X too. Anybody is Alara wants some semen X. Kate, you want some semen X? You guys are more than welcome to have some semen X. Chappie, you definitely. I I awesome. don't know what it would do to a female. I actually shudder to think at what it would do to a female. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, that shit is violent when a male takes it. And I'm supposed to have that, you know what I mean? Like, But just to a way lesser degree. You'd be, like, squirting on steroids, dude. Like, you have some kind of, like, hydraulic pump hooked up to the back end or something. Word Olympics. Hey, Lara wants some. There we go. All right, I'll ship you some. I got so much of this shit. She wants cheesy bread and semen X. Like, fuck. What? <laughs> you can only have one. Yeah. <laughs> no, you can God have both, it. but I'm going to put the semen X pills all ground up on the top of the cheesy bread. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to go get another beer. I'll be right back. Anybody else who wants beer. semen X, let me know. You guys got it. You got it, dudes. Brendan, every time I see your guitars hanging up, I think back to when I was at Long McQuaid last, and they have that Paul Gilbert signature, and I want it just to have it on my wall. Oh, yeah. Because, like, it looks like his, like, signature, but it's only, like, the $300 edition one. Oh, okay. But it's fucking cool as shit, and I just want to have it. But it's also, yeah, like... just to have like, it. Um, this is an art piece. It's a dinky, so it's, like, a three-quarters. Oh, okay. So it's, like, mini frets and stuff. Like, I don't know. It's cool as fuck looking at it. I kind of want to buy it, but I can't justify it. But I, I tr- I'm trying to justify it in my own way. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It'll look cool. Fuck it. That's justifiable yeah, just, enough. Just like It looks good. A month from now, I just have it hanging behind me. Like, you did it. <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Couldn't afford groceries, but it looks cool. <laughs> I just actually sent you a photo. That's the one. That's from, like, the top of the one building today. Oh, nice. And it looks all shit and dark, shitty and dark, because that's, you know, phone taking a picture of a screen, but... What kind screen. of cat is that? Is it a... That's a Subaru, is it a Subaru STI. Okay, I was like, I think it's a Subaru of some sort. Nice. I was like, it's not a WRX or whatever. Yeah. STI? You guys ever see that thing S-T-I. on top here with the uh, Toyota truck that can't die? Yeah. That's the most impressive vehicle that's ever been created by any human. I dare say. Prove me wrong. Toyota truck? Yeah, you never seen that, Jared? No. Uh, if it wasn't like 37 minutes long, we could watch it. <laughs> but Is like uh, old Top Gear too? Uh, no, old Top Gear, yeah. Old Top Gear. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah, they took, yeah. what was it? A Tacoma? I can't remember. I can't remember what it was either. Some old Toyota truck. And they yeah. fucking subjugated that thing oh, to literally that any thing to anything shit. you could think of, man. They literally parked it at low tide. The ocean. Yeah, they parked it at low tide and let the ocean take it. You know what I mean? And then, like, recovered it two days later and was like, yeah, it fired up. The only it rules worked. to it was that they could only have a mechanic come in with a basic toolbox. You know what I mean? Like, of normal, yeah. everyday tools that you could, like, have in the truck to, to get it started again. And every fucking time, the thing started and drove away. And this was just a base Toyota that yeah. they didn't do it. No, to? just a normal, base, off-the-model Toyota. Tr- uh, I can't remember. Uh, Brennan, can you look it up, actually? Because I'm curious yeah, I'm, what that I'm model gonna... was. But it was a Jamie, Toyota something. Yeah, Jamie, look that up real quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, speaking of Jamie, he got the Rona, dudes. What? Young Jamie got the oh, Rona? really? Yeah. Oh, that's fucked up. I didn't know Joe that. Rogan posted on Instagram at the beginning of the oh, week. Oh, Lara with the clutch. It was the Hilux. Yeah. Toyota Hilux. Hilux. Yeah. She's like, whatever that is. Yeah, you hit it. You got it. You got it. Yeah, the Toyota Hilux. So, yeah, it was just like an off the, off the shelf like Toyota Hilux. And they, they subjugated that thing to every fucking punishment. Po- like, Knocked like it to off the a point. building. Even worse than that, dude. They put it on top of a building and then demolished yeah. the building and they let it fall. It. Yeah, I mean, I like, understand that. It was bit, but... fucked. Like, yeah, they literally parked it on top of a giant building and then had a demolition crew come in that was going to, like, demolish the building. You know what I mean? And then demolish the building with the truck on top and then went into yeah. the rubble and fixed it and turned it on and drove it out of the rubble. 
You know That's what I mean? Fucking awesome. Yeah, it was insane. They lit her on fire, like literally on fire. They just like <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, threw like yeah, burning. they threw like burning shit into the fucking cockpit and like doused it in gasoline. You know what I mean? And just like just lit her on fire, going. let it burn itself out, and then they went back inside, fucked with the engine a little bit, turned it back on. Left it out on the beach at low tide, and then let the tide, like, with salt water come in and just, like, overtake it to the point where it was completely underwater. You know what I mean? Where it was, like, submerged completely. And then, yeah, they came back the next day after the water went away, and they're just like, yeah, did their little fucking tiny toolbox work and fucking turned it back on and drove it away. It was like, it's, like, it's literally indestructible. It was a fucking retarded truck. Indestructible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, literally. Yeah, exactly. But, um, yeah, that was, like, one of the coolest things I ever saw. That's what actually, like, ended up uh, getting me into Top Gear originally. I saw that, I like, those clips. I that show. It's so good. The, the original God one damn it's a good show. Uh, I haven't really watched much of the Amazon one that they do, the whatever it's called. The um... Oh. The... Fuck, I can't even remember what it's called. Grand Tour. Grand Tour. Watch it. Is it Holy good? fuck. It's so good. Yeah, okay, I'll watch it. Oh, then. my I'll watch God, it. it's yeah, so good. I'll watch it. It's just more top. It's just more original top. All here. right. They're I'm just in. older. Yeah, I'm in. I'm and it just in. looks better. Yeah. It's just better cameras right. in pro- yeah. like production. The, they, it's yeah, Amazon, Amazon money now. It. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, dude, like first episode in, it's like three of like some of the most insane fucking cars. Like nice. just like first episode, it's like, boom, here you go. Yeah. Like three million dollars in cars. Sense. Like, oh my like, god. All right, you guys got some budget going on. This is pretty Like, sick. and that's not to say that, like, obviously, Top Gear, like, BBC, they're fucking huge, too. Oh, they yeah, obviously for sure. Had quite the cars on that show as well. But, I mean, this one, they, like, came out of the gate, and it was like, yep, this is what we're doing. That's awesome. Was like, no, all right. I'll watch that the shit. The format then. changes throughout the first three seasons, I think. There's three seasons. There's, like, a couple segments they stick with, and a couple segments they, like, get rid of. Right. A couple people they do, so, like, bear through that like yeah it's a lot of the like when they go to the tent type things you know what i mean or like go back to like the the studio and they do things like that which actually i liked a lot more of those segments in top gear yeah me too the news yeah the news was fucking where they would just shit shit. news or they do the cool wall where they'd rate cars um Yeah, oh, I yeah, they just like have the, fun um, with the audience. I enjoyed the interaction between the hosts more than I enjoyed anything on that show for sure. You know what I mean? Where you had yeah. like Clarkson being like the complete like outlandish guy. Oh yeah, and guy. that's exactly and then you had, what like, this um, gives you. Yeah, and the, yeah, I love that shit. You know what I mean? And then you had the other two like oh, yeah. playing off of him being like the straight men kind of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. And um, yeah, no, I love I love that. Shit. And they, that was my favorite. oh, there's one part where they actually genuinely, I think it's the angriest they've ever gotten at each other in the field in like. There's legitimately, legitimately rocks flying at heads and shit. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> There's a couple of times, too, in Top Gear where, like, uh, what's his name? Um, May? Like, is that his last name? Yeah, James May. Yeah, he wanted to, like, uh, they were on that one trip in fucking, I can't remember, somewhere in South America, and it was, like, this really thin road, you know what I mean? And he's like, don't fuck with me on this road, you know what I mean? He's yeah, like, death road, and he yeah. pulls the machete yeah, out, and he's, and he's like, gets, yeah, like, I he's warned like, you what would like, happen. You, fucking, you bump me, or you fuck with me, I'm gonna cut your fucking head off. I'm not playing games. Yep. And they were like, yeah, yeah, calm down, James. And he, like, bumps him by accident, like, completely by accident, like, his car fucked up, you know what I mean? And then James yeah, like, comes like up to him with the machete, shit. like, at his neck, and he's like, what did I fucking tell you? What the yeah, fuck did I tell you? What happened? Yeah, like he's like right up on him, and they're all like, "Calm down!" And he's like, "No, I fucking told him. I fucking told him." It was like, "Jesus yeah. Christ! <laughs> like, holy shit!" Yeah, so it's like, <laughs> like hucking rocks at each other, and oh my god, there's so many That's fucking so good, good I things. Love that That's show. another thing I'd like to just we should just like watch too if we ever hosted that on here, because fucking it's a good goddamn show. I'm trying to think of yeah, I'd be out. I don't fucking want to give away too much. But yeah, like I said, there's a few segments that they do in the actual show that are kind of shit. And they, like, knew the one was crap. And they, like, acknowledged it the next thing. Because they do. They really take, the, <coughs> like, the input and the things that people don't like. They get rid of and yeah. they do, they do a different yeah, one. exactly. That's what I always um, liked about even, like, the original Top Gear. Where they were, like, they had no problem with, like, cutting shit out that didn't work. Yeah. It was like, like, yeah, like, didn't work. Yeah. All right. It changed frequently. You know what I mean? Where it was like, yeah. yeah. But on that flip side, too, there'd be like segments where you might have enjoyed them, like you were talking about. You know what I mean? Where there was yeah. like certain things, and I was like, man, I really like that. And then they cut it, and you're like, fuck. I really, like, oh. I really had a good time with that, for fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah. oh. <laughs> But it is what it is, yeah. man. It, you know, Definitely like, watch. Any creative endeavor can be, like, subjugated to that kind of shit. Even, like, the fucking podcast. You know what I mean? Like, how many, yeah. uh, like, fuck, when we started this, we were, like, doing the trivia and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
We gotta bring, oh yeah, got to bring that back too. By the way, that's uh, we should bring that back. Time, yeah, but we we haven't done that since like episode four. But we were doing that like yeah, every we... episode, and then there was just one of those things where we felt like it didn't fit as well as it could have. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And like things but evolved. I think we could structure it better now. Yeah, yeah exactly for sure. But uh, yeah, no, I can totally understand where they're coming from with that kind of like creative endeavor, where like you 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 try on different pants and you see what pants fit. You know what I mean? And like yeah. Work yeah, well like they like shirt. outright change someone. They have like essentially another Stig, right? But they don't have him dressed up. They just have him as like a dude. And, right, right. But like, the first one didn't work at all. Everyone was just <laughs> constantly emailing about how much they hated like, the guy. Fuck this guy. So the next season, they're just like, yeah, uh, we heard you loud and clear about that guy. You, uh, uh, well, to be honest, you, you, you're really frank about it. you hated him. So, yeah. so <laughs> it, they got it, this it new guy that is like. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, like the dude that tests the cars, like on their track, is unfortunately like the most fucking like insufferable person for the first like season. But yeah, they changed but it. They get rid of him. Good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it all works out. Yeah. But, no, you got to you got to adapt to it. You know what I mean? You got to do. Um, you got to do what the uh, what the. Crowd and it was demands. also like the way that they, like I can't put on him because like a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of Top Gear is fucking staged. A yeah, lot oh, of for it. For sure. Yeah, for sure. So much of for it is sure. just staged. Done. Like I mean the the like in the field true reaction and shit like that. Yes, that's yeah. I, like a lot of that's genuine. But like some of it's a lot of it's staged, particularly like for the acting parts, right? So the exactly. way this they way the way they made this guy act in the cars because he was supposed to be the big like american like nascar guy so right, he pretty much right. like downed every car that wasn't an american car but like with these really corny shitty insults like oh what is this little japanese thing how many it's only got four cylinders and, and it was just like everyone just yeah. fucking hated it so they're it's just like, the like, most, like uh, generic uh, car insult yeah american it was guy so bullshit, bad man. like fuck yeah off, man. yeah no that's like total pandering though you know what i mean and like I like to think, especially in mo in the modern day, like audiences are smart enough to notice that kind of shit. You know what I mean? Where yeah. it's like, yeah, you can't get away with that kind of crap anymore. You know what I mean? Like where you just have yeah, a guy who's like garbage. pandering to an audience, like it's not gonna work. Like, that's yeah, but they owned up. They're like, yeah, you uh, absolutely hated that, so yeah. we've changed it. And that's the way to do it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that, that's exactly yeah. the way to do it. Instead of just like trying to cover it up and shit and be like, you know, the modern Star Wars trilogy, and just be like, no, 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 mm. we're doubling down. We know what's up. And it's like, do you though? Because everybody yeah. fucking hates it. And it's like, yeah, but yeah, no. to be honest, like aside from the actual like story, like documentary road stuff for the first season, every other segment's not really the best. Actually, they have this like other celebrity segment, which again, sucks. And they cut it for the next season. Right. Right. In which they do like a better celebrity one where they actually. Yeah, no, it's... for sure. It's super nah, good, dude. Though. Super I'd, good. I'd, like I'd the be whole, down. I'd be so like down. you said, you like the whole them out and the banter and the fucking like when they're out driving around, and that's like we could super um, what this is about. We could like revitalize the old uh, like the shift flicks thing in like a like a new sense in the idea of this of where we just do that in a live stream sense because yeah. like I'm not sure how much time you guys spend on Twitch and shit, but on Twitch there's an entire section called IRL and it's just like you know chatting and yeah, shit yeah. like that, right? But mm -hmm. that section is mostly uh, overrun with people literally just watching TV shows. You know, really? Yeah. That's not like DMCA or whatever the fuck. Like that doesn't it's a violate gray, that. It's, it's a real gray area right now, and right now is like the uh, the old West Gold Rush of it. You know what I'm saying? All right. So yeah, like, yeah. yeah, this isn't like the worst idea of us to like capitalize on these things. Where like yeah, we just fuck spend it. like a day of the week where we just chill out and fucking watch like whatever Let's stupid show or stupid movie, and. Uh, just do what we were doing with shift flicks essentially but we do it in a live stream sense and uh, yeah no but yeah no i'd be totally down to that shit for sure man we could uh, bring yeah, it man. back shift flicks was a good time yeah it was it a lot was of fun. fun and it was like a fun excuse to have like shit to edit too you know what i mean because like editing yeah is super fun yes i know brendan's on board with that for sure because yeah you got like just as, like fuck man we, we used to just chill out for like hours at a time we just sit around for like fucking six or eight hours and just like fucking do stupid yeah. edits and fuck with that shit yeah it was like Look, it's all so right we got fun, like man. a minute intro done yeah, all right, nice cool nice. good job man let's have a shot we did it <laughs> yeah. Yeah. hours of work but yeah. like that the, the like heavy stuff with all the intro and the spinning graphics yeah, and exactly. things flying in and out that's what takes forever oh the rest of it's like yeah then it just, just snaps, cutting yeah, it then it just snaps in. and then you know the odd sound effect here and there right. or thing that pops up but like the beginning is yeah. busy as no fuck, for sure you know it's, I mean? like, yeah, it's like if, boom, if you take, spinning um, graphics boom sound effects whoa yeah, john claude yeah. van damme <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, you, take, you take any one of those episodes, and if you break it down on pure metrics, it probably takes on average like 25 to 35 hours per episode of editing to do each one of those episodes, yes. which with, with of those hours of editing being spent, probably about 15 to 20 of them just on the fucking stupid ass intros. Like you know what 30 I mean? like, second, yeah. one minute intro. And then the rest of it like, is just it's chops and cuts. Uh, maybe more than a minute. Yeah, yeah. Like a minute to two minutes yeah, two, on the maybe intro two, bit. Yeah, two, two minutes. Some, two, two to three, three minutes. Maybe. Something Fuck, like I don't know. I'm going to keep still, pumping it up. But yeah, yeah. Two to three but minutes, whatever less, it is. It's less than like 30% of the overall video without a shadow yeah. of a doubt. You know what I mean? And like, yeah, that, that represents probably about 90% of the, of the fucking time. You know what I mean? So like, I watched the Time Cop one like last week again. Oh, it's so good. It's so fun. Yeah, I gotta dude, rewatch that. I know. Movie. I watched so um, fun. Here's the fucking one where, where we joke about, like, dude, that had more cuts than fucking Liam Neeson. And, and then we cut it. Oh, my yeah, God. Dude, dude, that shit is so <laughs> Not good. edited. We did not edit this. Yeah, flashing at the bottom. So like That is so goddamn good, dude. Uh, yeah we got it we got to do another one of those for sure hell even yes. uh even um, now with like uh the like capabilities technologically that we have we can do those remotely you know what i mean yeah we can do these here yeah we can totally do that like in the exact same way that we do the podcast and shit and just record more of those but yeah for anybody who hasn't watched the man uh youtube.com hey, shit slash uh, shit flicks or just like you look up shift flicks on youtube go check out those videos because they are fucking they're quite good uh, and we don't uh, we don't normally toot our own horns and H- and not the by the channel talking. i've noticed this one there is kind of another series of shit flicks by this uh criticalism not that yeah fuck not them. that not them because fuck that them. appears to be what shows up so maybe you just try to type in like it's a shit flicks. In yeah that one yeah exactly maybe that's shit flick rubber if you type in rubber that'll bring us to our yeah first thing. yeah or black sheep yeah. or uh, time cop. channel yeah. name shit flicks not videos because videos will bring you to someone else but channel name yeah. shit flicks go check um, those out be, you want to go back in time there'll be three videos uploaded on there we got rubber we got black sheep and we got time cop yeah so those are the three go check Dude, those out. Yeah, it's been like a year since like that shit started yeah man well, to be fair, we've been living in, like, coronavirus bullshit for the last, like, fucking, what, nine months? Coronaville. I mean, like... And we had one, like, half record. Or, no, we had two, like, recorded after that because we did one after that that was complete shit that we just literally Didn't couldn't work. even use. And, cause it the, happening. Happening. the Happening. The Happening. The Happening, yeah, with Mark Wahlberg. The happening. Yeah. Not like even good, out. bad enough to make fun of. No, it's just like so bad. I that I said we shouldn't watch it because it was that bad. You guys are like, you're hey, right. that bad. You yeah. did. Oh, this movie is fucking did. ass. Oh, we got to try it. No, come on. Yeah, but no, he's right, though. <laughs> to give him credit, we're credit No, it was. He did say that. He did bring that up. He was like, no, this is a waste of time. And I'm like, no, no, let's try it. I think it might be all right. It might be okay i got some good jokes for this and it turned out that i had like three jokes for it and it turns out that the movie goes on for like two and a half fucking hours so it's like yeah. there's there's not a lot of material to what's make one, fun of what's the other one? Oh, above the law yeah above the law and unfortunately that one is lost to the ages because i built a new computer since then so uh above the yeah. law yeah the steven seagal steven seagal all oh, right remember Boys, we could do another Steven Seagal one. We could do the oh, one yeah. with Gary Busey and Tommy Lee Jones. That's that yeah, was fucking actually shoot. a great. We, we got to do it. We, yo, this is all shit we can do on uh, on the Twitch though. You know what I mean? Like we can just like do all this shit live. It might be too terribly terrible and funny, and it might be too like popular and shit. But I mean, there is the room. <laughs> oh, the old Tommy, <laughs> Tommy Wiseau classic. <laughs> Yeah, no. you know what though? That seems like one of those ones. That's hey, like, doggy! Uh... Oh, hi, Mark. In the fucking flower shop, dude. I never. Like, I, did, audio I did not hear. Her. I didn't do it. It's bullshit. Oh, oh hi, oh Mark. God. I've never watched it. Really, you motherfucker? <laughs> oh, okay. That's Stop, actually motherfucker. Perfect. Yeah, no, okay, we gotta do that one, though, just out of the fact that it's, like, a blanket story. Like, so good. Can you make a thing about it? Yeah, yeah, he made, like, a mockumentary about the making of the movie where he plays Tommy Wiseau and shit. Who? Uh, James Franco. Oh, uh, oh, really? Yeah, you never seen, seen that? that? That's probably fucking great. Yeah, no, it's really good, dude. I've, I've watched oh, that a damn. bunch of times. It's really good. And uh, yeah. James Franco's no, brother like... plays the guy that plays opposite Tommy Wiseau. You know oh, what no. I mean? Yeah. And he's like, that guy. like don't yeah. touch me, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, that's Dave Franco in the movie. It's fucking great. <laughs> oh, hey, Danny. Mm. <laughs> oh, hey, Danny. It's so bad. Dude, it's so bad. All of it. I did but not it's like hit so her. Bad I did not like... do it. It's bullshit. Oh, hi, Mark. Bullshit. 
like it's so bad though that it's like gathered like this cult following yeah. to it. No, like, it's it... like so bad that it's good. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. No. Yeah. We we'll do that one. I just think it out actually of, uh... would work for Net for sure. Yeah. Like... No, we got to do that one just out of like obligatory standard. You know what I mean? Because yeah. like that is the shitty movie. Like, that's the pinnacle of shitty funny yeah. movies. Yeah. We got to do that one just out of standard for sure. But yeah. No, we'll definitely do that one. Yeah. But yeah, no, we can, we can do all this shit on that's Twitch. Literal shit movie is a uh, street trash. That's so bad, man. That is just is so bad. bad, though. That's like into the happening bad. But you know what? And oh, you're recommending yeah. it, and I recommended the happening, and we went with that. So we got to go with street trash just to like be consistent on our you know intellectual values and shit. You offered Brandon, up. You know I think it's gonna is? be shit. I offered up the uh, the knowing, and you said it was gonna be shit, but we did it anyway. So we got to do street trash. I haven't watched it in forever. I watched it in like eleventh grade. My buddy had it on his computer. It's so was it? They find like this alcohol and they drink it and it like yeah. makes you like shit out your insides and you die. It's so stupid. Yeah, essentially. Yeah, but like yeah. like you said, I haven't watched that in a long time either. Yeah, my one buddy, he had all these movies like that. Like he showed me that. He showed me the Toxic Avenger shit. Like oh, that. Toxic Avenger, that's classic right there, dude. That's yeah. was that one that we watched the trailer for Martin like. When you were back here in London, it was like with the what's it, street trash? I can't remember. Like something to do with like oh fuck. Were they in like the back remember, of the store at one point? Yeah, and there's like something to do again. I think it was like something to do with like drinks. It's street and trash. Stuff or yeah, that was street, street trash. trash. Yeah. yeah, that's the one where we were like, wow, this is just so bad. It just can't like, be even that's done. Bad. Like this is just like, like this is like Star Force bad. You know what I mean? Oh that movie was. God, that was a nightmare. Yeah, that was a good movie. Dude, you know that's another do? one we recorded that we couldn't use. Hobo with a shotgun. I was thinking that. That's funny because that was in my head mentally. I've never seen that one. I was about one. to pitch it. I've never seen that. So yeah. Rooker Howard, dude. That's a. It's, it's a. It's really like so movie. crazy and stuff that like like this dude gets like his foot smashed with like a sledgehammer and it just explodes nice like it just goes everywhere just like you know what i mean dude, this guy ricky, ricky from trailer park boys that's gets his head pulled around. off oh shit nice he shoots nooses and he like he'll like wrap it around you and like shoot it into the rafters and like hang it with his noose gun it's nice. fucking awesome <laughs> yeah no okay all right yeah no we'll do that it's one pretty then funny. for sure yeah no we can do like yeah, all like this shit said. too dude and then there's like tv shows that i want to do that i think would be really good like hoarders I think that would be fucking hilarious. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. Beyond Scared Straight would be another one that would be yes. fucking hilarious to watch together and shit like that. Like, there's, like, Hi. all those shows, you know what I mean? Like, oh, and, yeah. uh, dude, just Hoarders alone. I don't even know how many fucking seasons of Hoarders there are, but, like, you know how fucking good of a gold Dude, some of those content? My Strange Addictions are yes, amazing. Yes, that's a great <laughs> one, too. Amazing. Dude, we could do all those amazing. shows. We do all those the shows. The guy was like, like eating her husband's, like, urn ashes and shit. And it's like, what the yeah. fuck? I remember that. Oh, I don't know. Have you ever seen that one where the chick eats mattresses? Tire? Wait, which one? You know those, like, little things? Those little plastic things that stick off of a new tire? Oh, yeah. The person yeah. would, like, pick those off the tire. Oh, really? <laughs> Why? Like, why? For what? The one person pretended they were a lamp. <laughs> like, oh, I nice. am a lamp. It's I can reasonable. get behind that. I can get behind that. that. That's better than the ones that, like, eat mattresses and shit. Yeah. I think this one guy was, like, sexually, like, obsessed with balloons. Well, he said it was nice. non-sexual, but he had a house full of them, and then he'd, like, stuff them up his shirt and be like, oh, you're so close. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm so close to you. And he'd, like, kiss them and stuff, and it's like, that's not sexual! You like, really? that to be sexual. What the fuck is sexual to yeah. you, dude? Where do you draw the line of being sexual, then? Is it only oh, yeah. because you like, haven't came yet? You're caressing it on your skin, under your shirt, ca- tell- whispering these things to it and kissing it. Like, I don't I want, know, man. It's an interesting There's line, though. What is, what is that line between being something being sexual and something just being intimate? I don't know. That's a hard line to draw, right? I think everybody's yeah, line's a little different. I I've, I've done some intimate shit. I get with, what you're with, saying, uh, but yeah, I've done some intimate shit with my flashlight. You know what I mean? <laughs> and like, <laughs> that doesn't fall into the other category in the slightest. <laughs> I don't. Know. I fucking disgust me, but I yeah, that. no, it makes me feel horrible. <laughs> it's awful. It's fucking awful. That's why I'm trying to save all this money for a VR headset, so that I, at least then I can be in another world while I have sex with it. <laughs> <laughs> everybody, everybody donate so I keep, Mark can get his VR headset, I keep, I and keep if we telling... get any extra money, we'll get you that thing that, like, auto-fucks you. Oh, the lift-off. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I could fuck the lift-off in VR. I've, uh, the, the Valve Index is $1,400, and I've saved up, like, 950 
So I'm that's almost, sick. I'm, so almost there. I'm, I'm almost there. Yeah. I'm almost I'm almost in start. The world. That's I mean, uh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe they'll have a Black Friday sale. Oh, we'll but you know what, discount. too? My mom also said, too, she was like, think about what you want for Christmas this year. And I'm like, I don't know what the fuck I want for Christmas. Like, <laughs> what a weird, like, I don't know. What the, buy you and then, yeah, she, and then, yeah, it was like, how about cash? And then she was like, okay. So she was like, yeah, I'll give you like 150 bucks, you know what I mean? For like whatever. And I'm like, nice. That knocks off like $150 off that VR headset. Yeah. So now it's only like twelve hundred. At the rate you're now, you'll probably get that shit before Christmas, though. Yeah, no, for sure. I'm, dude, I'm working so much. You know what I mean? I'm just like literally just yeah, banking yeah. all this cash because, um, like, what the fuck else, dude? This is the only thing I do with my quote unquote social life is this fucking podcast. You know what I mean? I'm, like chilling with you guys and playing video games with uh, with Chase and those guys and shit. So mm -hmm. like, yeah, like it's it's not not super hard to save money. <laughs> <laughs> especially in fucking stratford there's no temptations to be like oh there's a band playing oh that'd be really cool to go see in stratford it's like hey there's nothing stay home you want that <laughs> no, you don't want it we don't got anything for you mm. oh you wanted something to do on your saturday that sucks have fun being in your house and i'm like all right well i'm gonna play x-wing versus tie fighter that's oh sick. what i want to try is that new squadrons I almost bought that last night, actually. Yeah, almost, but I didn't. We should, we should, tr we should try it. Whenever you get it, I'll get it. All right, all right. After I get my headset, I'm definitely gonna buy that. Because... Things are always better. Even shitty games are better with TV, yeah. With, no, you're with right. With a buddy. Yeah, uh, that game has VR support though, so um, oh. that's, that was another motivation for me too. I'm like, after oh. I get that headset, Wait, so you get it. You and it. when I get that Valve yeah. Index, it fucking comes with Half Half Life Alex. So, um, yeah, so right off the bat, I have, like, something to play as soon as it shows up. You know what I mean? So yeah. I don't have to fucking worry I'm, I'm going to be, like I'm going to be over. Oh, oh, dude. No, dude. <laughs> dude, for sure. Um, The other side, too, that I wanted to order, like, it's, it's like, 1400 for the headset and, like, all the shit. But I want to order yeah. two extra um sensors so I can yeah, do, yeah. like, room scale. Because, like, look at my office. Yeah. You know what I mean, like, there's literally nothing in here. So, like, literally, if I, like like uh shorten my desk out and shit like that which is very easy for me to do um i could literally have like the sensors in each corner and use this whole room for vr essentially and like that nice. would be fucking awesome because then you could literally just Hell like yeah. actually walk around and like play the oh game yeah and shit, you know what i mean and it's like that's fucking tight dude and oh you can God. stream that on the irl where it's like they don't see the gameplay they just see you just wandering around like a <laughs> retard yeah exactly yeah, but they have no idea <laughs> Let's see the game. I'm fucking so excited for that shit, man. Like, besides all the stupid jokes and shit like that, but like, um, like we've all been to uh, Dreamland and shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think we went off on that. That one, that yeah. VR is insane, man. It's it it, it's, it's insane. It, it's the next experience, experience in it. video gaming. You know what I mean? In my opinion, it. it was it to me VR is uh, also Dreamland is like cutting edge. Oh, dr Dream. Yeah. I'm, yeah, not Dreamland. I'm, I'm just using Dreamland as an example for the fact that. Oh no, I'm just telling people yeah. like they no, are top. Dreamland notch. is retarded. That is like the best retarded. stuff in North America. Literally. Legitimately, they have a company that directly yeah. develops stuff for them first for their Hollow Deck, and like implements all this new technology for them first. Exactly. Like yeah. If yeah. you want to experience some of the best fucking VR there is, like I said, in like no, North no, America. No, no, not some of. The best. The best. The best. The best. Yeah. Yeah. In North America, VR. yeah. Go yeah, to Dreamland. Like, they don't hype it up enough. It's, no. It, okay, uh, I literally Rep cannot. VR, but and it's shit. on top of everything else, too. And we went like two years ago. Yeah. I bet it's even better. Yeah, exactly. And like, I, <laughs> and on top of everything else, it's reasonably affordable. You know yeah, what I mean? For like, bad. for the experience that you get, it, you, like you're not for the paying thousands that much. and thousands and thousands of dollars of yeah. equipment you're using, and thousands <laughs> and thousands of dollars of innovation. You know what I yeah. mean? Just to make that specific space work. You know what I mean? <clears throat> for those specific games, like there yeah. is so much going on there in terms of R and D. I think it'll like really like, hit you. Actually, is like when it's all done and you take that fucking headset back off and yeah. you're like. You're like holy reality fuck. whoa yeah. and the, you're like the, just in this room just this time, gridded out like neon black room and you're like the time that it wow. fucked with me the most where it like really like clicked in with me where it was like the interaction between the people that i was there with like with you and christian and shit you know what i mean because i remember there was a time touch, like, where like you literally were like yo martin behind you man turn around you know what i mean and like i was like i looked at you and like saw you you know what i mean and then you were like yo he's behind you man and i like turned around and was like holy fuck like there's like it's just like that level of you know what i mean like that is so oh, yeah. fucking stupidly cool man 
Because it was like you couldn't shooting just... over each other's shoulders oh, and shit stuff like that. too, yeah. like literally remember, leaning like, on each other. Remember Christian like going up and like boot fucking the dudes and shit. You know what I mean? Like he's like, how in yeah, depth like, you does this shit them, get? You can hit them with yeah. the gun. Like, like it was insane. Them, man. Yeah. You're like, fuck this desk. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, yeah. like it was so fucking cool. You can interact cool. with the environment, like you can take your gun and literally just knock books literally, and I was gonna boxes say, off shelves. Brennan was like going up to the shelf. On that. Yeah, Brennan was like literally going up to these shelves. We're all like wandering through these fucking corridors, all stealthy and shit. And Brennan's like, "Yo, look at this, guys!" And he's like just running his barrel along the shelves, like knocking paint cans down. He's like, "This is awesome, man!" <laughs> We're all That's like being so all tactical fun. and shit. <laughs> God, that shit is good. Dreamland VR is the absolute fucking uh, yeah, like, the pinnacle, man. And right like, it didn't break yeah, immersion in the Jesus fact Christ. that there was, <laughs> the fuck out of me. there was never a part where you didn't walk. Like in like some yeah. of the other things, like yeah, you'll like have a bit of freedom with walking, and then you have to use like kind of like a teleport type of feature yeah. or walk with no, a stick. Yeah, now, obviously, sure. that's just how it is because that's right. no one has a gymnasium sized room exactly. that can play VR. Yeah, exactly. But like they like do? When, uh, when you came when you come to my house to play Half-Life Alex, when you're moving around, you're still going to have to use the thumbstick to like, you know, move your yeah, character yeah. around and shit. But like besides that, you In, can still like that vicinity, you can still you fucking can, you can duck, oh, yeah. you can fucking crouch, you can go prone if you wanted to, you know what I mean? And, like yeah. lay on the ground and shit. And, like yeah, you have that freedom. But yeah, I know what you exactly what you were saying. Yeah, like so nobody like, has that capability standard, like Yeah, like not comparing this to standard VR cuz it's really not comparable it's not, because no. like I said, you it's don't custom. have it's custom, a gymnasium like. sized place to yeah, play your exactly. game and even if you did it probably wouldn't work like this I was does. just <laughs> and even if you did, you wouldn't have access to the games that they have because they're made specifically yeah. for they them, are, you know yeah. what I mean? So it's like, yeah, you would never be able to have that experience even if you had the money and the space and the setup and blah blah yeah. blah like yeah, and, so yeah, and, Dreamland yeah, is one of the point of it, like never breaking immersion because there's never a point in that game that you sit and like idly walk via joystick or yeah. something. Every single place you go in that game, you walk to physically. Yeah, it's true. The only time you go in elevators, okay, there was yeah. a truck that we rode on. That's what I was gonna was... say. There was like one time where you're on the back on of a truck. truck, and it's literally and like it doesn't even matter because like it's it that's in, it's, in like itself it. is fucking awesome you know what i mean because like, yeah. yeah you just literally feel like you're on the back of a truck and like you can totally like stand up in the truck and like walk around in the back of the truck and shit you know what i mean like there's no limitation yeah. on that kind of shit like yeah it's not like, like no you're you are never by sitting down. in the back you know what i mean and no, like you can always to freely there, move like yeah you can move around and walk into each other and shit like that like yeah, yeah, like I remember yeah, the first yeah. time when we loaded in, the yeah, like, thing was like just yeah. reach out and touch each other, and it was like, oh, that's so weird. Yeah, no, <laughs> dude, that is literally the trippiest thing. Like when you like it's in in creepy. like physical it's kind of a sensory overload. Yeah, yeah, it fucks with your head. Like you literally like well you hold the me. rifle I, like, in I went one spazzy. hand. Yeah, you, like you hold your rifle in the one hand, and then in game, like it still tracks my other yeah, you hand. You just do this, and it does everything. Yeah. Like you so, turn like, the gun. So like I like reach out to like touch Brendan's face. You know what I mean? Because we were just fucking around. We're like petting each other's faces and shit. You know what I mean? And like in the game, it's like my character is literally just putting my hand on literally his face and it's like yeah and man that's sensory overload hand. like oh oh it fucks with your head it's so yeah, yeah, fucking like the cool with how well it lines up. like the same height like so when you look it's brendan height and yeah, yeah, yeah it was actually yeah literally yeah, yeah exactly yeah. yeah yeah for sure yeah no that was like the coolest thing about it too because the um, the other guy that was with us was like taller yeah, than one buddy was really tall yeah. and he was a and huge he was, he character was fucking was tall like, oh in, my god in VR. yeah you know what i mean because it like tracks your height and shit like that i'm like this is yeah because you're wearing level, like man. that you get a chest thing you get some like hand yeah. trackers and, and foot, feet trackers yeah. so everything is falling so exactly. yeah well, like, yeah. well you got out. the you got the headset on yeah so the headset is your head tracker yeah exactly but uh, yeah, amazing. no, it's got like yeah, like Brennan's gloves, it's got hand trackers backpack. and the gloves. It's got the gun, which is also a tracker. It's got the uh, the back. Also haptic feedback on yeah. the gun. By the way, you yeah. don't just shoot a piece of plastic. You shoot a piece of plastic that vibrates and kicks back. Yeah, it's literally like, like pushes <laughs> back into your chest. And yeah, shit. it's and, insane. Like, yeah. And when you like reload it, you like feel something go into it. It's so yeah. Fucked. You like you hit the bottom, like you hit the mag on the yeah. bottom, and, and you actually, feel like, like it up. feels like a magazine like is feeding into it. Like it's so yep. cool, man. It's so I I can't fucking describe how good I know that shit I was about is. to say like, like I there's no good way to <laughs> describe it unless you've just but, done it you know what I mean but like God damn yeah, it is that I want every level. time we get into this I want to do it again. I know me too this is where I'm like God damn I just want to which go. again like it's pretty affordable if we want to if you want like to yeah. do it every now and then it's not something you go do every day or no, whatever but, yeah for sure but it was like fifty bucks I make or a weekend right? of it like 
Yeah. I think it was something like that. 45 bucks for the hour or whatever it was or for the whole experience. You know what I mean? Which yeah. is like around an hour. It's a long time or it feels like a long time while you're in there. I don't know. Yeah, it certainly is. does. It felt like longer than it was. It wasn't those, one of those things that like, oh, it's done. Like it seemed to go fast and to be quite honest. I think we only had the half hour, but that it like it did feel like an hour. I think that's probably why you're saying that. Because yeah, we only, yeah, we only did the half, like, but we finished it. That was yeah, the thing. yeah, yeah. Because like you, there is like an end to that zombie one, and we got to the end of it, but we only did the half, <coughs> so it went like really quick. But um, it still felt like super long. It but was it still retarded. felt long, yeah. But, like, and then yeah, we only did the zombie one. There's like other experiences too. Like there's that Indiana Jones one where they yeah, like have you like, heard of that one? The yeah, where they put like I actual props. One. You know what I mean? I and, did like that yeah. One. Oh, you did that? Yeah. How was that? It's fucking cool as shit. You like feel the heat yeah. and shit? You don't feel the heat, but it affects your light. Like, you can't... Uh, they have fans that, like, blow on you for wind, but they don't, like, do anything to make you hot, because I feel like that would just be, like, real pain in the ass. But yeah, like, you'll see a torch on the ground that's unlit, and you pick it up, and you have, like, a piece of wood in your hand. And that's then you go, fucking, awesome. you go light it, and then if you hold the torch over here... But, like, in the real dark. world, you actually have, like, an object in your hand. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. That is yeah. so fun. We do, Brennan. We got to try that one. That sounds. Yeah, I want that awesome. one. That that shit, you have so to cool. like duck under to walk under it and stuff. Yeah, dude, like an Indiana that's Jones cool. type of fucking like temple exploring. Yeah. Th- oh, there's dude, shit, yeah. Like, oh, there's one part where like the per- one person goes ahead and they walk through this pathway and then it collapses and you have to like wait for them and then they find literal actual like two by fours that are like eight feet long and they have to like set them on the ground. And you have dude. to like walk across. That's so awesome. Oh, my God. Oh, dude. there's something else now called The Lost City. Oh, what's that? What is it? Shall we watch the as? trailer for oh, it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Link it up in the chat. 51 seconds. Yeah, yeah. Link it in the oh, chat. Uh, Kate, Kate was talking about it. The wooden planks. Yeah. Oh, Kate did it too? Yeah, me and Kate did it. Oh, you fuckers. <laughs> yeah, link that shit in the chat, dude. For sure. I want to fucking watch that shit. That sounds it's only got 13 views. Everyone, watch it. I'm oh gonna just God, put it. Should I just go? Should I just put it in the actual like Facebook chat? Yeah. Thing? Either way. Either way. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, here. Hold up. I gotta open it on my laptop. I just have it on my phone. Oh, yeah. Actually, if it's easier, put it in Discord. Yeah, I can put it on Discord. Anyone, just go look up Dreamland yeah. VR. Well, we'll have it up too. We can all watch it together. But oh, uh, true. Yeah, give this shit yeah, some this views, is... man. This these guys deserve love. When was this posted? August. April. Oh, August 19th. August, yeah. yeah. What the fuck? What? Oh, man. All right, hold so up. So pretty new. It's the Verona. And then there's also going. Tickle, or Tickle, however the fuck you want to say. It looks like another, like, explorey, uh, like, temple one. That's awesome. Dude, at the end of, like, the fucking Indiana Jones style one, you're, like, standing on this rock that's, like, spinning and flying through this like this giant empty cavern it's trippy as fuck that's so like it feels like you're just like flying in this thing you're like oh my god if i fall i'm gonna die (laughs) all right i got it all queued up you guys ready um one moment that i believe is the second one if we want to watch that one after yeah yeah link it up so there's two new games because everything before that was the yeah patient zero and the temple of diamond skull yeah yeah, so those are the two. Yeah, that's Patient the one we Zero did one is the one we did. did. Yeah, yeah. So the Lost that was City. Good. All right, hold on. Let me uh, let me uh, crop this out a little better so everybody can get a good view on the shit. Dreamland VR people, go fucking check yes. that shit out. That they 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 deserve every every piece of anything that they could ever get. This this place is absolutely spectacular. All right, you guys ready? And accommodate up to eight players. Yeah, that's fucking amazing. Yeah. All right, you guys good? Good. Three, two, one, play. Our troops were slaughtered. It's loud. Our mission failed. We had no choice but to abandon everything. Oh, shit. Oh, elevate the elevator is so cool the way that works. This looks awesome, man. With like the oh, four of us. Get Kieran in on this shit. Oh, 
Oh, you have like a flare to like signal the helicopter oh and shit. Oh my god, dude. This looks awesome. The Lost City. Yeah, yeah and this is all VR VR. VR. Like, it's all your fully immersion. Oh my like, god, dude. That looks sick. Alright, where's that second trailer at? Let's watch that shit. With the Blood Moon. Alright, everybody good? Oh, uh, one sec. Oh. Uh, stop. Yeah, I'm good now. Alright. Three, two, <coughs> one, play. Deep below the rainforest. Oh, that looks cool. Dude, that looks so cool. In an ancient tent. This is very similar to the other one. Yeah, like they literally they'll make you crawl through shit. Dude. Tycle. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, there's like dude. in the last one you didn't have to crawl, like get on all fours, but you like the you had to like crouch like pretty low to get under. So obviously you don't have to because like there's nothing actually fucking there. Yeah, yeah. But like you'll get shit if you're just like fuck this and you walk through it. Yeah. Like, like, the... Fuck off, dude. Why are you not having fun with this shit? Come on, play along. Yeah, get, yeah, exactly. That's exactly it, dude. I used to play like those like Arma 3 uh, role play servers and shit like that. You know what I mean? And like half, yeah. half the fun of it was insistent on the idea that you had to fucking just play along. You know what I mean? Like just, yeah. just get into it, you fucking loser. It makes it so much more enjoyable for everybody. Like don't be a yeah. dickhead. It's like, yeah, you could easily just like, you know, push the one button and pull your gun out and kill the policeman and shit like that. But it's like, that's not the way you would do that in real life. That's fucking retarded. Like, make it fun. But, uh, yeah, no, dude, that Dreamland shit, that looks so good. Everybody go check that shit out. They, uh, they deserve, they deserve much more press than apparently what they've been getting. It's yeah, Jesus, 12 views on own, it. Uh, Fuck you. It's the same people that own, uh, Cellular Magician, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. And we uh, we met the yeah, guy actually yeah. a couple of uh, the, the time we went there and shit like that. He seemed like a really nice guy. Mm. I don't know anything outside of the fact of just that one time when we were like half talking to him and shit like that, but he seemed like a very <laughs> reasonable guy. You know what I mean? Very friendly and like outgoing and shit like that. He was very helpful. Yeah. But I got a rocket this voice. Yeah, you got to do what you got to do, buddy. I'll be back. Oh, yeah, plus we've been going for like two and ten here, you know? Maybe we can uh, call it an episode with Jerry get back. What do you think, Brennan? Two and change? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's a good run. That's a good run. Yeah. That's cool, yeah, though, I'm man. Fucking... I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really happy to hear about uh, the, your photography thing, like, going, like, well yeah. for you and shit like that. You know what I mean? That you're actually getting people Thanks, interested man. in shit like that and, like, you're getting to, like, yeah. actually do it. You know what I mean, man? Because, you, yeah, when you first, like, bought the camera and you were, like, talking about it and shit like that, that was, like, your big hope for it. You know what I mean? Just to be able to have people be interested so you could use the fucking camera. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, get a chance to do it. Like, yeah. And, like, actually hone your you... skills and fucking, you know, learn the art and shit like that. And, man, that's fucking yeah. awesome. You're there, dude. That That's, you know what I mean? You're doing that shit. Now, on top of that, too, making a little bit of change. A little making, making a, little a little bit of change. Too. That ain't yeah, so bad. bad. That ain't so bad, no. my friend. That ain't so bad. Yeah, like, I had two, like, two cars today. Like, I was busy as hell. Like, I left the house at 1230, and I yeah. didn't get back till whenever the hell probably like 7 15 yeah yeah, yeah for sure i done here but yeah well, no. when did i leave i left at oh my camera's about to die in a moment if it does i'm probably not gonna bother replacing the battery nah, just end it keep the audio going yeah exactly but um yeah so i i left it i don't know probably like a little bit before one one today and i went and did that <coughs> but i mean that was all right yeah no that's um, a that's a that's a long day man for sure really you well know? And the one dude, like, yeah, the one that I started at one, the guy came down from Vaughn. He was actually from Vaughn. He came down here for those photos and still paid That's me. That's good Toronto, right? Pretty yeah. Damn well. Yeah, just outside. Um, the second one was kind of just, like, someone that I had met before, before I really got really into it. And that's when I was telling them, like, yeah, like, I'll just do it for exposure and just to get some content. So that was kind of like a freebie, the second one. But right. after that, um, actually, while I was out on a shoot, well, I was out on the first shoot today. I got a message from this BMW, and um, they're going to come do a shoot uh, ASAP sometime this week. So I've got that as well. And what kind of BMW? Um, E90. Nice. 
Got to bring so on. Uh, a... We'll have to see. Um, Free series. After we uh, after we do the uh, music special, we'll have to see about bringing in the guys on from the uh, monolith monolith oh, camp. True. Bring them on for an episode. We'll have some chats and shit. You know. Yeah. Be a good thing. Good. Mister Mister Robert or Keith. <laughs> yeah, man. And what else? Um, yeah, no, it like, went good. Like I said, that's dude awesome. came all the way down from. Vaughn and I did one in Cambridge before, and he's actually going to come back down. That's another BMW, and nice. uh, he's going to come down again sometime soon. Come, come here more. this time, and we'll do some stuff here. Nice with uh, actually his other buddy who's got a nice Genesis, and uh, he's Ooh. out that way as well. So a fancy Hyundai. <laughs> Hyundai. That's cool, dude. Yeah, like I said, fun. yeah, I'm happy for you, man. Thanks, thank you. Ed. Glad it's actually. Yeah, it's certainly been a lot of fun, especially just like the people I've been meeting and stuff too. Like this guy today that came down from Vaughn, like super nice guy, like more (laughs) than respectful, more than appreciative of everything. And then, no, no. (laughs) 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 cool dude. Like it's just nice, like meeting all these people and stuff. And yeah, dude. Whatever, like, like, hey, why don't you climb in? Like, no, I'm good. No, 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 I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but no, actually, like, he invited me to like come hang out sometime in Chicks. Apparently, he <gasps> snowboards a lot and he's got a k- cottage at Collingwood. So he's like, Yeah, let's go like Rip Blue Mountain sometime. Like, I'm fucking down, dude. Like, I'm totally down. <laughs> That's a lot of cool. <laughs> so it's like, Yeah, it's just nice meeting all these people and shit. And, That'd be another cool thing to do. Get like fucking like action. Yeah, that's what shots. I said. And like snowboarding shots and stuff like that. Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, no, that's sick, dude. That's fucking awesome. It's all I'm coming pretty, together. Pretty happy. Pretty proud with it. So. Yeah, good for you, man. Go follow Monolith Multimedia. Unless you're a retard, then go fuck yourself. <laughs> well, I just still go follow him. And take the numbers. <laughs> we'll take the numbers. Even if you're a fucking retard, we'll take the numbers. It's fine. Yeah. Why just don't, I don't comment on anything. They don't want to hear from you. Yeah, I know. It's true. Nobody, nobody cares. If you drive a 90s Pontiac, fuck off. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. Also, come home, dad. <laughs> Come on, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> but more, but more importantly, follow Monolith Multimedia. That's that's the more important thing. Yeah, no, we got to do that for sure. We'll bring the boys on from uh, Monolith Multimedia, and uh, we'll have a good episode on that one too. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Oh yeah, bring them. Hell yeah, bring them in your woodline like basement. Like oh yeah, the glorious yeah. woodlined basement. Yeah, you can fit. You can fit a couple of people in there for sure. You know what oh, I mean? maybe, no, yeah, maybe aim for like a, a good number, like episode 30 or something like that. That's too far in the future. I'm thinking like 26, 27. That's what I'm thinking. Oh, I yeah. thought 26, 27, you're trying to do the I am, music one. But that is dependent on like five musical acts all working That's true. and working out. I'm just saying the musical thing is a tentative thing that will happen. And I want it yeah. to happen as soon as possible. But uh, That's fair. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's like it, it just depends on being able to have everybody's schedule worked out. Yeah. And uh, yeah, where we can do it whenever it's just yeah. whatever people. It's gonna are be able to... uh, that one logistically is probably gonna be one of the toughest episodes for sure. Trying to get like that many bands or artists, you know what I mean, all uh, in time slots God. and shit like that. But we'll make it work. We will make oh, it work. Yeah. And uh, we'll, we'll, do a lot of fun. yeah, we'll I, bring I'm really excited for that episode. Back to the dead, and he will shred our faces off. Damn right. So yeah, if you uh, like we said earlier, if you've got any bands or uh, like acoustic artists or yes, whatever please. you've got, Thank whatever you. you guys like, and you want to hear, um, you want to see them on the. Oh, podcast. Oasis! Hey, fuck that, Jared. Fuck Jared. If they want to play Oasis, they can play Oasis. It's fine. Everybody's welcome here. It's totally cool. You guys want to? You want to come on and play the same medley you've been playing for the last thirteen years? Oh, you, you're you welcome can play too. it, but I'll boo you. But yeah. you can play it. But you can do it. Yeah. So just expect that. But yeah, you guys, uh, you got any bands out there? You got any acoustic artists you want to come on for the uh, for the music special? Um, tag them up. You know what I mean. Let us know. We'll uh, we'll get a, yeah. we'll get in touch with them. We'll uh, we'll talk to them. You got a see if we cool make sure uncle work. that can play a harmonica like a motherfucker. Yeah, he does some, does some good Bob yeah. Dylan covers. Yeah, exactly. He's on. Don't we matter. Got we got him. Whatever you guys want, man. We'll make that shit another four and a half hour episode. We've done it before. We'll do it again. I forget where I saw it, but it's like it's like. A ball gag, but instead it's a harmonica. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. Nice. That's perfect. Oh my god. But uh <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Yeah, what do you guys think? Should we call it there? I think we had a good day. I think so good too. Yeah. I think that's a good yeah. episode. 
World's Worst Podcast, number 25 in the fucking bag. Quarter of a century old. Quarter, oh, quarter century old, boys. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. What do we get? One, uh, one and a half more episodes, and we're half a year in. Damn. Yeah, yes. dude. That's impressive. That's, Holy fuck. That's crazy good. shit, dude. Pretty good, pretty good. That's it. Thank you for joining us tonight. We love all you guys out there. Anybody who joined yeah, in the chat, you. anybody who's still out there watching, all you of do. you folks. I saw are the, the consistent best. like five to yes. seven viewers. I saw that too. So I saw that too. People looking. Yeah, uh, we see I saw you. That. We, we see you. We, we see you. we appreciate thank you, you, man. We thank you. You guys are the best. A lot. Yeah, like a like, lot, seriously. a lot. That actually means a lot. That yeah, there's some people actually sitting here just listening to our stupid rantings and <laughs> for sure, man. nonsensical talk of for sure. I don't know. And we, we kind of have repeating him. stuff. I think we went off about Dreamland VR a little bit before. Probably not as in depth, but uh, yeah, no. But you're right. But yeah, yeah no. The That's fact that there's awesome. like really anybody great. out there willing to like spend their time with us and fucking you know shoot yeah. the shit and listen to our stupidity that that blows my mind. And we fucking love you guys, man. That's uh, that can't be that can't be overstated enough. We we appreciate no. every single one of you that's out there spending your time with us on these Sunday yes. or Saturday nights. You you guys are the best. Anybody so who comments, Seriously. anybody who shares, anybody who fucking anybody who just tunes in for ten minutes, five minutes. I don't give a yeah. shit. You guys are the best, man. You're the shit. You're all awesome. Yeah. And uh, I hope that we have made you slightly more retarded. Yeah, yeah. That's there a, we go. That's a, I know. I feel slightly more retarded every time. So. Yeah, every time we do one of these episodes, I leave it dumber than I entered it for sure. And we've done twenty five <laughs> of these things, so it's getting rough. <laughs> we lost it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and, and we didn't have Brendan for half an hour. It went off the rails. Oh yeah, that got that got <laughs> savage. It's good though because Brendan never watches these episodes afterwards, so we got away with it. We're fine. <laughs> no, it's no. I'm getting. I'm. I was gonna watch back. Damn actually. it! Damn it! You I'm gonna watch it. Back. Fix. It wasn't well, on, so I don't know. What hey, happened. hey, Brendan. If if you do want to watch it back, you know you do have the option to uh, to to listen to the audio on Spotify. You can go and check it out there. There's uh that all the episodes are available basically either the day after, or the day after that after they're aired. So um yeah, check yeah, us out on Spotify that. if you're yeah, uh, if, if you weren't able to catch the whole episode and you really really need that full dose of retardation you know what I mean? and you don't have time to watch the on facebook while you're working out and you don't want to look at us because we fucking horrify yeah. you or you're driving and you don't want to be distracted and shit like that oh my god watch out for that car then you can watch us on spotify the right there there, there yeah. it is that's it right there there it is there it is that's the one right there. Brandon listens to us every day while he's working. Ah, Brennan's oh. a good guy. I do too, actually. That's funny. I put it on in the background, and they're like, yo, what is this? And I'm like, it's my podcast. And they're like, you're a fucking loser. And I'm like, yes, I am. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got three friends, and I talk to them once a week. Go fuck yourself. Leave me alone. What do you have? Oh, a 1979 Trans Am that's falling apart? Yeah. Fuck you. Get out of here, fuck Bon Jovi. You and your sister can go fuck yourselves. World's worst podcast, <laughs> number 25, <laughs> 25. <laughs> in the bag. Thanks for joining us. We love you guys. Have a good rest Thanks of so your much. Sunday night. Take care of yourselves. Good night.